How you doing, you starburst cyst sucking circle back simstitutes? <laughs> Welcome to Grunt Speak Live, episode number 96, where the hate crimes are made up and the surveillance tapes don't matter. I'm Dude. Toxic Mail, and that's Terrence Pop. Dude, that was one hell of an intro. I was just going to call them anal owl pals. Oh, or, or anal bum covers. Would have been a good one. Yeah, it's a good one. I'm a big fan of the Celebrity Jeopardy skits. Hmm. Yeah. Speaking of which, we filmed the skit today. Yeah, we did. <laughs> we, we've been talking about doing the, the Rod Serling, Twilight Zone, Masturbator thing for a while. In and the it, can. It's finally happened. It's in, in the, the can. can. Yes. Yeah, we had to film it at the lair and uh, had to walk around out front in a... Uh, towel that looked like a diaper it's quite embarrassing <laughs> i love that you had big ass alligator clamps on the side i, I don't have safety pins <laughs> because <laughs> no, contrary to popular belief safety pins are not safe <laughs> yeah that's very true all right yeah so you uh get uh, get pricked in places hopefully not your prick yeah definitely you know, getting pricked in your prick not a good deal yeah i think they call it anal de or needle decompression yeah, you got to be aware of those two-way words here on YouTube. You can prick your finger. Don't you dare finger your prick. That's a horrible visual. It really is. Ah! Uh, all right. Speaking of horrible visuals, uh, who who decided that Merrick Garland should have oxygen? Um, I don't know, but they're like, uh, that person reminds me of when I go to Walmart <laughs> and I look over and I see somebody in my mind. I'm like, "Why are you allowed to exist? What? <laughs> You're not supposed to be here. <laughs> you were supposed to, to get swallowed." swallowed. <laughs> 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 all right now, all right. You remember when Texas tried to sue Pennsylvania and the Supreme Court said they don't have standing? Yeah. Same thing applies to DOJ. The Department of Justice has announced that it's suing Texas over its new congressional maps. Why? Well, it, it just it's one word starts with an R. They use it all the time. What? Ra racism. Oh, racism. Racism. Oh, yeah, yeah. I thought you were going to say something else. No, no, no. I mean, I could have. Mm -hmm. like, I could have just randomly pulled a word out of there and be like, hey, all right. you never know. Now, first of all, each state is entitled to draft up However, they want to divvy up their state for representatives and senators. Oh, absolutely. All right. And it happens all the time. Do I agree with it 100%? No. No. Do I think it's a decent answer for the fact that our population keeps growing? Yes. Uh, but there is no perfect way to basically divvy up these, these zones. Now, has it happened in the past? Were they gerrymandered? The, yes, it has happened. Yeah. But in this particular case, this is something that they're supposed to do after every census. Yeah. Population densities change. They have to redraw districts yeah. every time People there's a new around. census. So this is literally a direct response for how these particular, you know, the stunning and brave BIPOCs have densely just coagulated in these various areas so and what exactly does bipoc stand for uh, black or indigenous people of color i think i don't care because i think it's stupid i love how people of color is in vogue but if you call them colored you're <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> you're still an ist yeah when i was when i was in the army i got yelled at quite a few times for referring to uh let's see uh african-americans um what else? There was a couple other names I used for for minorities, and every time that somebody would get offended, and I get yelled at. I got yelled at a lot in the army. Yeah, I got yelled at so much I actually used to grade uh, my commanders on a scale of one to ten on their effectiveness of. Gee, I, I how can't they imagine. Yell at me. I can't imagine you getting on anybody's nerves in the army. Oh, dude, it was <laughs> glorious. I remember standing at attention, taking like a thirty minute ass chewing. And then they're like, you have anything to say? It's, it's some good... Uh... Sir, I just want to say, on a scale of 1 to 10, you're an 8. It's good eye contact. The threats were meaningful. <laughs> I really I really felt kind of intimidated and afraid. And the sergeant major standing <laughs> to the side like, looking at me like, are you out of your fucking mind? Uh, you're good. <laughs> 
But the thing is, is when you're the guy who can get shit done, what are they going to do? They just yell at you. Hey, I'll yeah, wake yeah. you up. All right. All right, all right, all right. Okay. Uh, we did get a new definition of BIPOC in the chat from Jimmy Bones. Oh, here we go. It's a pretty good one. But inseminating people of cluelessness. Yeah, cut That's that. Brilliant, Jimmy. Copy that and put it onto a text document. That's good shit right there. <laughs> That's comedy gold. <laughs> but inseminating people of cluelessness. I like it. Yeah. I like it very much. I like it. Speaking of cluelessness, I love this right here. Texas adds two new congressional districts this cycle thanks to population growth measured in the 2020 census. Critics accuse Texas lawmakers of drawing two new majority white districts, even though its population growth was driven by non-white groups. <clears throat> While Texas officials have defended the maps as properly accounting for minority residents. And considering who's in charge of the DOJ, who wants to sue these people, you nope. know, the, the angry Walmart greeter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah, he does look like an angry Walmart greeter. Welcome to Walmart. Get your shit and get out. Uh, and uh, like like always, there's so much shit going on in the news. <laughs> you we can't, can't possibly keep up with it all. We can't keep up with it all. There's no way. We just picked some of the major ones that are in, in the current events. Yeah. If you guys watched yesterday afternoon's stream, you knew what we were going to be talking about before we even got here. How many people we have on station right now? We are currently up to 522 and rising. All right. Oh, yeah. Smash that like button, dudes. Let's do it. Do it. What really cracks me up about this Texas crap is that it's clearly just – virtue signaling it's or, or what they would love to, what the left always loves to call a dog whistle it's a dog whistle to the far left mm -hmm. see we care about the minorities never mind all the ones we're sneaking into the country that we have no intention of giving citizenship because we're going to use them for slave labor don't look at them mm -hmm. look at these guys over here yeah Just that's like, actually that's uh you know propaganda 101 well this is like the inverse of the maricopa audit uh -huh. See, we care about your elections. See, we care about your minorities. I got you. It's all just trying to save face after shit's been done. And they know that this is not going to go anywhere. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. And Merrick Garland, I'm sorry, for a guy who can barely string two words together without it looking like his face is going to explode, he spends a lot of time in front of the cameras and he's a cocky, arrogant, soul-sucking son of a bitch. And I don't like him. Well, there's. I'm going to be honest, there's... Not many people in our government at state or federal levels that I actually approve of. It's very few, yeah. Yeah, and to be honest with you, um, they're incompetent, cowards. Just a bit. And I think a large majority of them have sold out and are traitors to this country. That's just my opinion, of course. Yeah. And when they're not selling out the country, they're in the back door going, <laughs> And there you go. Well, that would be the vice president. <laughs> it's very true. Yeah. yeah, we all know how she got her job, and it sure as hell wasn't her debating skills. Now it started with a blow. Yes, the all vowel opera hour. Yeah, oh. she, was, she was good at blow slobbing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to hell. I'm going. I'm getting. I'm so going there. I, I don't want to, but I can't shut my mouth. Come swallow a heels up, pull my Harris is the kind of chick who's like, I don't know why everybody thinks I'm a whore. I'm not a whore. And then she spits on her toothbrush, puts it down, and starts brushing her teeth like this. I've seen that video. <laughs> That's actually quite funny. We showed that one on an f up but funny. Mm -hmm. It's good times. I think we found a, a video earlier tonight that definitely qualifies. We'll have to get a new compilation together. It's been a hot minute. <laughs> I don't know what that guy was doing. It looked this like never, he, this never gets old, man. Looked like he was having a seizure while he was hunting for almonds up in a tree. Yeah, that was kind of weird. And he was trying to like knock him out by throwing the chick up in there. Like, get out of here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you were laughing your balls off when I said that. Oh, he's uh, <laughs> knocking almonds out of the tree. Yeah, whatever you do. <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> Those ain't going to be the only nuts to hit the floor tonight, honey. i tell you what. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to start off uh, after that one with a, some super chats here. We had some before the stream even started. Thank you all very much. Jumping up here to Cliff3188. What do you get when you cross a Richard with a potato? I have no idea. A dictator, <laughs> a.k.a. the installed president in DP. We know that she took the Richard for her job. Uh, I... Would incline to agree with you. She has a long history of that. No pun intended, of course. Yeah, I mean, she was uh, seen out with Montel Williams back in the day. 
And the dude who was married, who got her her first job, uh-huh. I forget what his name was. I don't know. Whatever. Don't district know. attorney or whatever. Uh. Yeah. She showed him a thing or two in the judge's chambers. And no, they don't all have a hole in the in the little confessional door. It's just it's just for her. <laughs> Blood or water. It's no longer called choking. It's called throat complications or non-throat compliance. <laughs> <laughs> like they said, trash the science. Oh my God. <laughs> In Fantasy I Die. Ah, yes, the trials and tribulations of that famous French actor, Juicy Smolier. Mega country. Thank you, Pop and Blake, for the humor and the facts. All right, first of all, we're going to get into the, ju- the Juicy Smollett fucking trial. Yeah, that's coming right up. Oh, Willie Brown. That was his name. Willie Brown. The, the, the attorney. Okay. Now, Ironic. when I first heard this story, the first thing that came into my, my thinking meat was this is a total hoax. And the thing that did that is he is in Chicago stating somebody yelled out, this is mega country. Yeah. Are you out of your goddamn mind? In a deep blue district in the middle of the night I mean, with, with record low temperatures during, oh my God. I, I mean, Chai Congo has been Democrat for, I don't even know how long. Forever and a day. And like Have literally. Have seen their mayor? I know. Oh. She's nasty. But, I mean, they can't get anything done there. And you would figure if it was run all by Democrats, and they, they'd be able to get shit done. Oh, yeah, and they totally care about you, by yeah, the way. Yeah, fuck no, they don't. They, they care about the poor so much, they insist that you stay that way. Well, they only care about the poor 90 days before the election. Yep. After whoever gets elected, fuck y'all. <laughs> After that, they flick you out the window of the car like a booger. Yep. <laughs> You're done. I mean, just ask Christine Ford. I mean, she's obviously still a darling of the... Oh, wait. Yeah, I have no idea why... Uh, was it Justice Kavanaugh? Yeah. He didn't sue the shit out of that bitch. He should have. Yeah. He still could. He's he's within the statute of limitations. I right hope... I, well, I, I can only hope that he does it. She deserves to get... You know, sued into the Stone Age. Yes, she does. All right, here. Crazy Uncle. Hey, Pop and Blake, when looking at how the SJWs talk about everyone else, remember the first part of prepping for civil conflict is dehumanizing the opposition. Yes, it is. Like red versus white Russian in the 1930s Europe. Well, I mean, that, that is actually uh, historically accurate. Whenever two armies are going to go at it, they always, the other ones are just reduced to like an animal non-human yeah. target silhouette thing true story yeah. art of war 101 patriot of the west sent a couple of subscribe star donations over the weekend oh thank you very much good sir and i got blood on my beard last night eating shaved cat rigs oh no Ugh. god stop it man That's i'll drink to that mm. Blah. Blah. <laughs> Choke down your girlfriend, Pop. It's okay. Mm. Jaffa on the bound. I wanted to throw this out there. Tim Pool mentioned this week on his cast that YouTube throttles channels if you put too many links in the description. And great news, I bought my first home. All right. Do we have too many links in the description, maybe? <laughs> Should we start putting them as, uh, as pinned comments? I don't instead? know. I- I'm going to be honest. I mean, we've been getting throttled since uh, MGTOW became a bad word. Yeah, but we've been getting throttled since we had no links in the description. Uh, 2015-ish? Yeah, 16, ever since the started. first MGTOW video hit, it's been a very slow crawl. Yep. I mean, we had like a golden era of about six months, early 2019, when we discovered the Amy Hortons and the Allison Stevensons of the world, and some of our best episodes came out during that stretch of time. And then we hit 100,000, and it was like, yes, this is the beginning. And then it was like, Ugh! yeah, hit the wall faster Ooh. than a child actor. Downward spiral. Downward spiral. Keith Peterson with a little trumpet-blowing emoji walker, and it looks like he's got a little tiny blue Totoro next to him. Thank you very much. Uh, crazy uncle, to lighten the mood, I sent an email. Oh, boy. Here we go. Oh, boy. Here we I'm go. I'm guessing it was to your email. Was it not, to, uh, Doc the 12 is pretty much the one that... Oh, crazy uncle. Since it is December, for those that have young kids, here's a trick you can use. Prep a hot cup of chocolate, hand the kid a candy cane, tell him to stir it up. Oh. Uh. Anyway, the candy cane will instantly thermal crack and melt, sometimes making the kid jump a little. Hand them a spoon and tell them to dig out the pieces. 
In reality, they're only stirring it up. When they realize they can't get the pieces out, immediately spray some whipped cream on the top and tell them to enjoy. Not only a nice holiday treat, but when the child asks what happened, you can explain the science, which should hopefully get them interested in chemistry. FYI, have the bourbon on standby for your hot chocolate. Prepare to throw a straw. However, using a drinking straw is an additional homo suspicion point. <laughs> <laughs> Amen to that. That actually is a pretty good idea. I think I might do that with my kid. We yep. just cracked 700 viewers on YouTube. Thank you all for tuning in. Travis Wolf, Blake sounds like Pop joined the gay cruise having a safety pin by his safety pin. <laughs> <laughs> Send me out with herpiganosyphilides. Yeah, <laughs> double shot and pills and no, no cure. cure. <laughs> uh, Keith Peterson with a donation, and all he wants is a but. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a ripe. That's ripe. Let's let it linger. Let it linger. Ah, there it's we go. real ripe. It's ripe. It's ripe. Yes, Ohio trucker one. Hey, pop thoughts on the M2HB versus minigun. Have some whiskey money. Thanks for keeping me above ground, and thank you for the twenty dollars donation, good sir. The M2. He's talking about the fifty cal machine gun. Yeah, M2HB versus minigun. Well, the minigun shoots really fast, but if you really want to fuck it up, use a fifty cal. And if you really want to fuck it up, they have a minigun fifty cal. Yeah. Yeah, those things go through so much ammo, it's insane. <laughs> Always. Yeah, I remember uh, when I was in the Ranger Battalion, the A-10s coming overhead to do uh, CAS, which just stands for close air support. You hear them, wah, and then you hear the the, the 30 mic 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 brass raining down. You better have your helmet on, because if you get hit with that, you go into the hospital. One would hope. All right. Streamlabs didn't load up for some reason. I got it now. Just want to make sure it was there. The Paranormal Soldier. Bring back She's a Slower by PB... By PB... Sl I don't know what that is. <laughs> Schlore? 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 Slutty whore? Perhaps. Slure. Is that a song? I uh, don't know. I That's just... I came up with the word years ago. Slewer. Slewer. I have like a way of com combining two or three words into one word because I'm lazy. It does happen. Quite a lot. Keith Peterson again. Space Ghost is on. Amen. Indy women. Polska Bob over on Streamlabs with a $25 donation. Thank you so much, good sir. Pop and Blake, since we're talking about gay Tupac, <laughs> 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 who is not invited to the cruise. Uh, the nay he lives in is high end high rise buildings right off the lake. It was minus 20 that night, and in that uh -huh. neighborhood, it was more minus 35 or lower. No sane person bought his bullshit. I, I remember it being just ridiculously cold that night. Well, I mean, in Chicago, it's windy and cold in the winter. Yeah. I mean, it's I've insane. Been, I've been to Chicago in the yeah. winter. It sucks. It sucks. It's, it is not fun at all. Not a good day, man. No. Uh, shark dentures. Hey, Pop, I think anal alpacas would be even better. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Is that an Urban Dictionary term? I don't think so. Dawn is at 13. Thanks for sharing Trigger's vid on Rittenhouse and journalism. I wish I knew about his channel years ago. Best way to describe his commentary is galvanizing. And Crusader Nate, write those books. Nof. Yep, write them. Write them, everybody out there, man. Create. Yeah. If you have an idea, fucking write. Don't worry about what people think about it. Fuck them. Exactly. Jimmy Bones, Juicy Smollier, a total piece of crap for what he did and almost starting a race war over a lie. Hats off to him, though. He's the only American to play the Uno reverse card and be able to scam a Nigerian. <laughs> <laughs> Those Nigerians are pretty smart, man. Yeah, man. They are among the, the top earning ethnicities in the country. And Whites really... are way down here. And, well, they're in the middle somewhere. Middle somewhere. They're not, we're barely in the top ten. I don't even yep. think we are. You're probably right. Shark dentures. How about biased idiots preparing our communism? BIPOC. Okay. I can go with that. Makes sense to me. Jumping over to MGTOW.TV. Mixter84, got a new word for your brain. Clam pain. Women are always on the trail of the rooster roller coaster, and their clam takes a beating with possible VD. Our stunning and brave VP knows all about that, and so does Pops X, allegedly. <laughs> Clam Clam pain <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, I like that So every time a woman runs for office now That's what I'm going to think of 
So, Hillary, uh, how is your campaign going? <laughs> That's got to go. I got to put a list together of all this stuff. Like free range fornicator. <laughs> she was not a victim. She was a dictum. A dictum. Yeah. Glory hole attendant. <laughs> Squishy balls, Jimmy B. All right. Nice. Pop is someone who has a bachelor's degree in streaming. You failed the most basic problem ever, turning on the damn sound. <laughs> Blake should revoke your certificate and force you to take his course. All right, now, hang I, on a That minute. wasn't his fault. Hang on. All right, let, 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 let's tell you exactly what happened. That was a Murphy problem. All right, so that day I filmed two Lair episodes. All right, I didn't even turn the computer off. I just switched over to the smart TV, watched uh, you know some shows and stuff until it was yeah. time to do the stream. And those both worked, by the way. Yeah, I vouched for those. I switched over to do the stream, and I lost sound and visual. I have no idea how that happened. I got nothing. And the only way I could unfuck it is I had to literally get down, unplug everything, and plug it back in. Stupid as it sounds, that's just sometimes what you got to do. <laughs> I don't know. It's dumb. Like we had an issue where my camera wasn't coming in on a stream one night and it was because i got a new cable and i switched the port that it was plugged into and i had confirmed it earlier in the day but then when i brought it into obs it wasn't working so i was like if this works i'm gonna i'm gonna fucking break something i put it back in the port that it was in before bing i'm like <laughs> kiss my ass Murphy. Coem Genis. I think the dick drinking straw game is getting and needs to be spiced up like a hit means take a shot. A block is one shot. A miss is two shots. Now, listen. And yes, if Blake mi misses from six feet away, he should get wasted. All right, hang on. <laughs> I got to drive home at 10 of the night, man. <laughs> I can't be like taking a shot and every time I fuck up or something. I mean, yeah, and I can't be taking a shot when I'm supposed to be running the yeah, show. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Listen, I, I, I cut myself off usually at two units of alcohol if I have to get behind yeah. the vehicle of a car. That would be bad. Or the wheel of a car. Yeah. You don't be responsible. To, yeah, you don't want to spin out. You know, that would be bad. But, ooh. Yeah, ooh, ooh that's, an, that's another good one right there. We'll let that one simmer for a bit. Given Mr. Uh, Smolier's proclivities, I think this bumper counts. So if you can hurt and it hurts real bad, or if you have feelings that are making you sad, then it's okay, it's okay to cry. So how did we get here? A lot of people still don't know how we got here. That's something that I've discovered just talking to random people. Like, I thought this was settled and it was thrown out. Well, it turns out that the initial prosecutor, the state attorney, uh -huh. who went to throw out his case the first time, a special prosecutor came in and found out that she had committed egregious abuses of discretion in his case. Mm -hmm. Whoopsie. Shocker. And, of course, she's uh, you know, installed by a certain stunning and brave world philanthropist. Uh-huh. Who yeah. sh really should be on a, uh, on a hunt down, go to prison list, but that's just my opinion. Just a bit. Uh, in 2019, Chicago authorities released text messages from corrupt state's attorney Kim Fox. The messages revealed that Kim Fox continued to intervene in the case in support of Smolier even after she recused herself. Wait a minute. Doesn't There's... recuse herself mean you have nothing to do with the case? Yep, but she... Why, are they, not, why are they not going after her law license? They, they should be disbarring her for this if she's not already on the, on the block for that. Yeah. That's for sure. Oh, oh, I love this. Text messages from state's attorney Kim Fox to staff about two weeks before charges were dropped on Juicy Smolier refers to him as a washed-up celeb who lied to the cops. <laughs> Texts obtained through FOIA requests. Nice. Nice. Yep. So I'm recused, but when people accuse us of overcharging cases, 16 counts on a class four becomes exhibit A. <laughs> well, I mean, to be honest, the prosecutors do overcharge. There's way too many laws on the books. Oh, yeah. You could be totally innocent, and I can almost guarantee you if they kick your front door, they'll find enough shit in there to, or laws or what have you to put you in prison for five to seven years. We'll just look at uh, Chauvin. Yep. Getting charged for manslaughter and second degree murder for the same dude. Yeah. And and somehow getting convicted of both. Yeah. That's <laughs> insane. When there's proof, medical proof of a fentanyl overdose. And he, that guy had a history of uh, swallowing yeah. drugs when he was yep. confronted by the police. I, I mean, 
Just saying, there's a lot of people screaming white supreme pizza because of Rittenhouse. Where was Derek Chauvin's white privilege? And how the hell is Rittenhouse white supreme pizza when he shot all white people? Uh, yeah, I'm still trying to figure that one out. How the fuck is that going? Uh, and, mean, and when is he going to start suing people? I, uh -huh. I'm, I'm just waiting for that. I mean, come on, man. Although Get I, dig, I dig his style in that interview when somebody asked him about what he thought of LeBron James, and he's like, fuck you, LeBron. Like, Oh yeah, Good. I saw that too. Yeah. Fuck him. Difference be between a fan. difference between Rittenhouse and LeBron is that uh, Rittenhouse doesn't miss shots under pressure. <laughs> Suck it, Nick. Oh, that's good. That's good. I like that. <laughs> Oh, it's just bad news bears, man. As always, after this stream, you will find all sources. And in fact, you don't even have to wait until after this stream because you know what? It's already here. You see this on Redoculus.com? There's the stream. You can watch it in the window, and you can even follow along with the sources. Isn't that cool? If you like. Aren't we thorough? We're, we're, we try to be thorough. We, really we bring our receipts. We tell you where to find shit. Yes, there is. Some of the stuff is opinionated, but... We try to you know, keep everything truthful. Hey, when it's our opinion, we let you know. Uh-huh. Oh, but this is not our opinion. And this oh, is here hilarious. We go. This is so funny. Security cameras caught Juicy Smolier in a dry run with Nigerian Osandario brothers two days before the hate hoax attack. He's got to know he's going to get found guilty. As far as I'm concerned, this is over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And this what are they actually charging him with again? Uh, I, you know, I'm not. I know that he, they're charging him. They're like a felony for you know filing false police reports, you know, wasting cops. resources, yada yada. I hope they sue him civilly and take all his money to just yeah. pay for all of this horse shit that we have to go through. This is very expensive. Yes, it is. They released over seventy hours of surveillance footage, and I remember I. This doesn't really show much. It's video from inside the taxi. I watched it. It's pretty uneventful, mm -hmm. but it's clearly those two guys on their way somewhere the night before. Um, and it was uh, confirmed by the Osandario brothers that they were the ones in the car, and that's what they were going to do. Daily Mail reports, testimony in Juicy Smolier's trial will continue Wednesday after jurors on day two of the trial were shown security footage of Smolier doing a dry run two days before his alleged hate crime attack. On Tuesday, jurors were shown footage of Smollett walking near the scene of the alleged attack with brothers Osandario on January 27th, 2019. Mm. The brothers are then seen going to the Crafty Beaver what? for rope, a beauty <laughs> supply store for masks and hats, and a bank to deposit the $3,500 check that Smollett paid them to commit the act. Wow! The brothers paid their bill at the beauty supply with a $100 bill that Smollett gave them, the, Chica the Chicago Tribune reported. Camera footage also showed him picking up the brothers in an alley on January 25th, four days before the attack. Defense attorneys for Smollier also questioned a detective over a hot sauce bottle that smelled of bleach that was found at the scene by a New York Post reporter a week after the incident occurred. Nice. The actor told police that his attackers used racist and homophobic slurs, wrapped a rope around his neck, it was a shoelace, and poured an unknown substance on him. Police say Smollett, who is black and gay, told detectives the attackers yelled he was in MAGA country. I don't believe that. I mean, that's... everybody thinks they're in MAGA country when they go to Chai Congo. <laughs> yeah. I mean, when I heard that, I'm like, there's, there's no fucking way that happened in Chicago. No way. I, I just ask you, you know, it's just, we're, we're not lawyers, but as a sensible dude, how can anyone possibly deny now that it went down this way? Well, you're going to have people uh, on the left who are going to think everything is a lie and he was a victim. And no matter what you, no matter what you do, no matter how much evidence you, you, you put out there, it's... Well, look at the Rittenhouse trial. Yep. I mean, it, it was live streamed every day. The evidence was there for anyone to see on numerous websites, age-restricted or not. Yep. And there are still left doid schmucks out there who think he shot three black dudes uh -huh. and was just going around looking for somebody to hunt. That's right. It's and pathetic. That, I mean, that's one of the reasons I don't really associate with the libtards I used to be friends with. They, they literally have... I, I, these people have, like, bachelors, masters, a couple of them have PhDs, and they, they, can't, they can't follow logic and reason. It, they can't be bothered to research 
anything. Yeah, and they paid an ass load of money for these education that they have. Yeah. And they're literally idiots. I know. It's 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 scary. That's why I always laugh when leftoids who try to argue with me or write hate mail are like, "You need to get educated." I'm like, "Because that worked out so great for you." Nice. <laughs> I like that. Dumbass. Oh, and it gets better. Nigerian Osandario brothers or Sendero brothers, Dario Dero, Dario Argento brother testifies under oath that Juicy Smolier composed his ridiculous hate hoax for the media. Knowing they would buy it. They always do. Well, yeah. I mean, who was that uh, NASCAR guy who had like the noose in the uh, the rope to pull down the garage door and it, and it had been there in surveillance for like a year and a half? Yep. And the FBI is like, it's been there for a year and a half. Like, come on. You guys are being stupid here. I, mean, I wonder how much steam... Uh, do you remember when uh, what's her name Sarah Silverman who recently you know actually said something that I agree with but we're going to throw that aside she took a picture of a construction marker that looked like uh, an ex doing cartwheels how dare somebody somebody spray painted it's the last thing on the day like it's a construction marker baby <laughs> but of course leftist echo chamber twat it was like <laughs> well, here's another weird thing Back when I was in the ninth ID, one day I decided I was going to decorate my room. And I hung up a flag and some other stuff. And my roommate, you know, hey, he was tying this, like, hangman's noose. I'm like, yeah, it's pretty cool. So I hung it up on my wall. It was there for two days. And my first sergeant came down from the headquarters building, opened up my room, Saw the noose, and then I literally had to do a 12-mile road march (laughs) for corrective training. I was not to have shit like that on my room. Did you have to go to sensitivity training? No, that didn't exist back then. It was just, fucking do a 12-mile, fuck you, 12 (laughs) miles, go. Walk it off. Yeah. Yeah. But they took that shit serious, man, and that was way back in the day. Back in the day. Now it's fucking on steroids. Oh, boy. Direct quote from the trial. Smollett trial. Osendero brother asks under, asked under oath, who was the audience supposed to be? According to Jesse, the media. Yep. Well, I mean, it's not like they spent four years peddling literal Russian propaganda trying to point a finger at a duly elected president for being a Russian puppet. Uh-huh. And, and what I don't even understand is why he even thought he can get away with this. When there's so many fucking cameras everywhere in a big city, yeah. and it's the number is going up. Yeah, you can't get away from surveillance in a blue area because you voted for a highly centralized authoritarian cocksocket yeah, regime. And, That's what you wanted. And a lot of people don't understand. If you have one of those ring doorbells, those are so easily hacked. Oh, yeah. And like the government can literally come in there and watch all of the rings, you know, cameras on your block to find out exactly what the fuck's going on it's insane it is this is now now i'm just gonna say you know video surveillance has its upsides but when there's too much of it it's mostly a downside oh yeah anything that uh takes power away from anything that people can potentially use against you to gain power over you there you go there you go and they will they will use it to gain power over you yes it's not if, it's will. Yes. But back to the case here. Uh. What do you think he said? What do you think he said? Well, um, I know he's still fighting it, yeah. saying it really did happen. Yeah, he went on the stand and uh-huh. actually said, under oath, there was no hoax. He has no choice to, but to, to lie now. Like, they offered him a couple deals, and he didn't take any of them. It's just, why? why? I don't know. And whatever happened to the prosecutor that took that didn't charge him, did she get fired? Uh, well, after she recused herself, I have no idea what happened to her, okay. honestly. Well, well, I can look it up. Actually, I, I, that's kind of covered in administrative violence. So oh, yeah. There's ways to go after these people legally, of course. Ah, Juicy Smolier took the stand in his own defense Monday afternoon, adamantly denying allegations that he had staged a racist anti-gay attack against himself. There was no hoax. Well, if the attack was real, you still orchestrated it. So, logically, shouldn't he be charged for his own hate crime? Well, 
One would think. You would think. Yeah. Uh, the brothers offered damning testimony last week. We already heard about that. Smollett <laughs> claimed that he never offered up money for the assault. I, I, I'm sure that your signature on the check was just a coincidence. You know what? <laughs> we should actually have a pool on how long the jury is out. Oh, we should. A betting pool. What do you guys think? Let us know in the chat. How long do you think it's going to take for the jury to come back on this one? One hour? Day? Week? Month? You never know. Somewhere in there. Uh, he told jurors that he had written a check for nutrition and training advice, in part because he asked for it up front. Okay, but then why were these two the guys in the video surveillance footage during the attack? Yes, and they were in the video footage for the dry run. Yep. It's amazing. It really is. And, of course, he is trying to make this all about being a spurned lover, and he still is trying oh my to push God. his his racist propaganda. I'm a black man in America. I do not trust the police, all right, hang on. it said. I'm also a well-known figure at that time, and I'm an openly gay man. Well, the thing is, those two guys from Nigeria, if in that country, if you're gay, you did. You, they could kill you. Yep. So he's basically risking the lives of these two guys by saying this shit. Because I'll tell you right now, this is a national news event, and yeah. it's international. I bet you, I, I, I'm telling you right now. If they get sent home, or they try to go home. It's over. And it's not going to be good for them. It's not going to be good. We're up over 900 viewers on YouTube. Thank you all for tuning in tonight. Thank you so much. I'm honored you're here. This is when it gets just ridiculous. Oh, wait, hang on. Go for it. Oh, this thing has been ridiculous since the beginning. Oh, I know. but it we, gets, we have, We're now in the realm of redonkulous, and that's why we're talking about it. I'm just saying it's getting worse. Yep. <laughs> because this was adamantly denied by both brothers under oath. And since we know who has the track record for being a lying shit stain, I kind of tend to favor them in this one. Uh -huh. Earlier in his testimony, Smollier had described his spicy relationship with one of the Osendero brothers who had accused him of plotting the hate crime. Oh my God. Smollett described first meeting Abimbola, dude, <laughs> tough life, in 2017 at a club while forming the filming the fourth season of Empire. The pair did drugs at the club together and later visited a bathhouse, he said. We all know what that bathhouse is. Uh, it's a large collection of barely used soaps all circling the drain. Mm -hmm. Because that's where you go to drop the soap. I'm going to have to say yeah. On purpose, many times. Ass to mouth. Mm. Other, or as uh, Kamala likes to call it, Willie Brown. You go in there, you're going to get pink eye from too much brown eye exposure. <laughs> <laughs> Whew. Oh, Whew. It's disgusting. We were in a club, you know. You go to the bathroom, you'd go to a stall, do a bump, do a bump, and then you just kind of keep going in, if you know what I mean. And then we went to the bathhouse, <laughs> more drugs, and, and made out. <laughs> Maybe they did some munging. Oh, stop. <laughs> I don't need to hear that. <laughs> it's just hilarious, man. Like, I love this. And, of course, this comes from the Daily Beast. They're They're doing everything they can to try to... To, to spin shit and th this is one of the most dishonest publications on the internet if you want a lesson in high high quality bullshit propaganda on how to rip it apart just read the daily beast well, i'm gonna be honest with you most of the news stories out there are propaganda or propaganda-esque yes either semi-propaganda or they're full-on erected erected propaganda yep <laughs> That's fucking insane. Uh, and, and, and you can tell he's desperate because he's throwing everyone around him under the bus. Oh, yeah. I actually heard they, they, they th you know, accused the judge of some shit. It wouldn't shock me. Like, he, like, they're saying that the, the judge lunged at him. Like, get the fuck out of here. He really is. He's like, he's like a, an Italian chef. He's just throwing everything at the wall. Sorry. And trying to see what sticks. Don't break my house, bro. <laughs> Sorry, man. <laughs> I'm, all right. I've only really known one judge who got violent, and his name was Colonel Murphy. And there's a video of him. That's aptly named. Uh, challenging, I think, one of the defense attorneys to a fight. <laughs> and literally, he adjourns court, 
goes out, fucks this guy up, comes back like three minutes later. That's the only time I've heard of it. Well, you know, <laughs> it's on video. And he was a damn good commander too. So uh, wow, sounds like a sounds like a nice enough dude. As long as you don't piss him off. No, he got he got mad at me a few times, but he never yep. threatened to kick my ass or anything. He he did yell well. He got an eight point five out of ten. Yeah, he yelled at me quite well. Uh, what really cracks me up though is that I'm, let me just say. I understand that he wants to try to discredit these guys. But at the end of the day, we still have the security footage, 70 hours of it, apparently. Yep. Showing, Over many days. Yeah, showing the three of them going from place to place and buying everything for this hoax. Uh-huh. He's still denying it, and now he's throwing these dudes under the bus. Yeah. And, and in no way does this at all disprove the prosecution's case. So no. what the fuck is it actually that he's he's got no choice? To gain? He is he's going to get hammered, figuratively and literally in prison. Uh, he's probably going to like that. I, I listen. Uh, I don't even. All right. Historically, if you go to a jury trial and you're found guilty, they usually hammer you on time. Yeah. If you take a deal, that's one of the benefits of taking a deal. It's usually less time. Blah blah blah. Blah blah. But yeah. Oh oh yeah. <laughs> Here we go. I, this is. I just heard about this today. I didn't know about this until today either, and this was one of the more surprising things that came up. I mean, I'm not saying that it's surprising for this dude's character. Isn't he already getting like sued for sexual yes, assault? Yes, because this dude's a piece of shit. But I, I didn't expect him to get caught up in this in any way. I mean, you don't normally think of these two as joined at the hip or really in any way adjacent except for, you know, well, maybe, maybe they, a I shade. Bet you, I bet you they were joined at the hip, front to back. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. I mean, it would also explain this picture because clearly his mouth is wide open and waiting for... There you go. Yeah, he's looking for some throat yogurt. Another allegedly. CNN scandal. Juicy Smollier testifies under oath that Don Lemon text messaged warnings about police. Now, if if he doesn't have receipts, I will call bullshit on this because everything that comes out of this guy's mouth that wasn't excreted from another dude's penis is bullshit. Well, I mean, this is not going to go well for the CNN employee because they've already fired a high a high ranking a talking head. You know, if they can get rid of him and Stelter I'd be okay with that. I still wouldn't watch CNN. No, I wouldn't either. But the, but the I ratings, lose any sleep. they're going to have no choice but to start cleaning the house because their ratings are shit. <laughs> it's all their own fault. Yeah, I know. It's not just the talent's fault. The talent does what they're told. Yes. Well, to an extent, I would say, yes. Well, very few of them in this multinational, conglomerate, globalist circle jerk really have free reign to talk about what they want. They push the narrative... And that's pretty much it. I'm sure half of them know they're full of shit. Yeah, and I, I, I just don't envy them when they go t when they're dead and they have to step over to the other side and go, "Hi, oh, you lived a whole life telling lies." <laughs> yeah. You got some explaining to do. Yeah, I mean, I know I got some explaining to do, but I'm not going to get called up there for telling lies. Yep. I'm going to get called up there for being an a hole, a dick, you know, and that maybe some too. other like nefarious horse shit, but. We just cracked a thousand viewers. All right. Thank you all very much. Thank you for tuning in. And while we have all of you here, it's a very important time to point this out that if you have not yet subscribed to the backup channels on YouTube, you should. That is where we will be if this channel ever gets nuked. So check them out, youtube.com slash Terrence Pop Culture. That's where you can find all the archived streams after they're live on this channel. Uh -huh. And youtube.com slash Gruntspeak. That's where you get your little Gruntspeak shorts. Sometimes a minute, sometimes 10. You never know. Yep. Most of them are uh, me flipping out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Getting spun up. You motherfucker! <laughs> you son of bitches! Ah! So one of the specificities here, Juicy testified on his own behalf on Monday he was annoyed that the security camera was pointed in the wrong direction to pick up the attack. Yeah, I wonder why. When asked why he refused to hand over his phone to police, Juicy said that he had declined to give his phone to CPD in part because earlier he'd gotten a text from Don Lemon saying that he'd gotten a text from CPD saying they don't believe me. Yep. Well, they're going to need your phone anyway because burden of proof is on you. You're the accuser. Well, 
I don't know, man. That whole like phone thing is a touchy subject with me. Yep. I mean, in my professional opinion, if you're going to have anything crazy on your phone, you better have that thing double encrypted. And if they try to force you to give up the password, just say fuck me, fuck you. Yeah. I'm a, I, I want I'm imposing my uh, Fifth Amendment right for to self-incrimination. <laughs> yes. Now, like in fairness to what I was saying before, I don't like Don Lemon, worst journalist of the year, Don Lemon, worst journalist of the year. He sucks. He sucks harder than a black hole made of gay black men. <laughs> wow! He sucks. Wow! Wow. Is that a S-U-C-K or S-U-X? <laughs> S-U-X-X-X. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Figuratively and literally then. But would I be surprised if this was within his wheelhouse? Absolutely not. Why? In case you forgot, Hampton's bartender, who is suing Don Lemon for sexual asphalting, brands CNN a predator-protecting machine, rife with perverts, and reveals that he was offered 500 large to settle. Mm -hmm. Dustin Heiss says the ne news network is rife with predators and perverts. He's suing Lemon, who's 55, mm. claims that he was assaulted by the anchor. He was out with co-workers at Murph's Backstreet Tavern in Sag Harbor. Sag yeah. Harbor. Yeah. If, if Harris ever visits there, you know, while she's doing everything that she can to avoid the border, the harbor won't be the only thing that's sagging. The sag. Ugh. Saggy pants. Lemon is alleged to have put his hand down the front of his own shorts vigorously rubbed his own penis, according to the lawsuit, removed his hand, and shoved his index and middle fingers under Heiss's nose, asking him if he liked pussy or diaka. All right. Let's just be reasonable about this. In my professional opinion, when I wanted to pick a fight with somebody, I would hold up my middle finger, put it under their nose, and say, smell your mama. <laughs> and that was almost always an instant fisticuff situation. So I have no idea why that dude didn't punch this dude in the, in the mush mm. on the spot. In my opinion, yeah. of course. Well, I mean, he probably knew who Don Lemon is. Mm -hmm. Realized that he was surrounded by eyewitnesses because he was in a crowded bar and thought... Doesn't smell like pussy or dick. Smells like a settlement. <laughs> Which he didn't take. Which he didn't take. Because, well, I mean, he's not going to take their first offer. If 500K is what they offer him up front, mm -hmm. oh, there's more to be made. Well, I don't know. Like, if it was me, I would be very, very hard-pressed to turn away 500K. I, I don't know. Well, I, I'm, I'm with you on that. Yeah. I, I don't know what my answer would be unless I, 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 don't, I can't even answer that. I've never had that kind of money waved in front of me, so I, I can't honestly tell you yay or nay. Mm. Now, if it involved like a friend of mine or a family member getting s severely injured or hurt, there's no there's no settlement. It, no. It, it's going to the wire. To the wire, you can I f off. That. So, what are your what are your final thoughts on this whole <laughs> fucking fiasco? Well, I mean, Smoliet is Smoliet. He's doing a great job at taking down the left. Juicy smell it. Because he's throwing, <laughs> he is blue falconing everyone, throwing everyone under the bus. Oh, oh. For those of you that don't know what a blue falcon is, it means <laughs> buddy fucker. And um, if you did any time oh. in the military, you'd realize that they're all over the place. Oh, yeah. Oh. And the funny thing is, is I remember I, I had some guys that are really bad buddy fuckers. <laughs> And I'd be over there in front of the formation, like, what the fuck happened? And be like, well, he did it. I'm like, oh, he did, did he? Well, you're going to get punished, too, for being a fucking narc. <laughs> oh, he did, for he loves me. <laughs> I used to hammer narcs. Uh, like how? Oh, just, mm. you know, road marches and shit? Or, or what? Well, one narcs? of them was really bad at it. and uh, He was always narking on people. And it was literally... Once or twice a month, I'd have him in breaking concrete up with a sledgehammer. Ooh. Yeah, I was so pissed at this guy. Oh, so you went full tilt. Well, I mean, that's the way you... Like, he was a grunt. He was an 11 Bravo. <laughs> Somebody found blue birds and put it in the chat. 
<laughs> yeah. J.H. Choi, quick with the emoji game. I can uh, appreciate your gumption. I like it. I like it. I like it. But the thing is, is like if one of the main reasons it's very hard to get in the Air Force if you've been in the Marines or the Army is because they, you can't, they can't punish you. Ah. I mean, I mean, once you're a grunt. And you're used to like just getting treated like shit, freezing and starving, and walking everywhere with a with a grand piano on your back. It, it's hard to punish those people. Like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Twelve yeah. miles. All right. What time yeah, is yeah, it? Yeah. I could uh, do twelve miles standing on my head, man. I'll see you for lunch. <laughs> 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 All right, we're gonna jump into your guys' super chats here again in just a moment. But first, a word from our sponsor tonight, Kevin's Concealment. Do you ever get tired of women staring at that bulge in your pants? <laughs> you know what I mean. Come on, lady. My eyes are up here, right? Well, thanks to Kevin'sConcealment.com, there's the cure for that. And at the same time, you get to exercise your Second Amendment rights at work and <laughs> not get fired. You take your bulge, put it in the holster, and... <laughs> Voila! You guys thought I was talking about something else. That's a homo suspicion point. Space Ghost is on. Go to kevinsconcealment.com and check out if they have a holster for your sidearm. Use the discount code POP, P-O-P-P, -P, links in the description. It's in the meat gazer box. It is in the meat gazer box. They're uh, coming up with different size holsters for those things all the time. So make sure that if they don't have one for your sidearm, check in on the site every couple of months or so. They're constantly expanding the catalog. Yeah, they are. And the coupon code is going to be good for quite a while, from what I understand. Excellent. Dude's a big fan. Outstanding. Outstanding. All right. Crimson Hawk. Redonkulous motto. Break our hearts and we break yours. I pop P. Thursdays, your video is behind a paywall, correct? Which one? Up. Uh, Locals, Patreon, subscribe star. All you got to do is become a member on any of those sites. You can watch the man. And you're in. You're in. Jeff Schroeder. I was in a diner on the south side of Chai Congo when the whole Juicy Moly debacle was on TV. I yelled, this is BS! And then I noticed that I was the only white guy in the diner and nobody said anything. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, bullshit is bullshit. Yes. I've called bullshit on many uncomfortable situations. I did it in a church. Yep. I've done it at uh, retirement fucking uh, ceremonies for officers and NCOs. I mean, I just tell the truth. I don't tell care. The truth. People get really upset. Well, so what? Comma. I don't care. That's a that's another one I used all the time too. <laughs> well, it's a good one. I like it. Mm. All right, here jumping back into the chats here. Thor Gustafson. Chirpy is a canarial disease. It's untweetable. <laughs> Nice. Untweetable. Uh, Cliff3188, one question made me realize the Juicy story was a scam, and I know you'll think it's stupid. What Subway franchise is open at 2 a.m. in Chicago? I don't know. Uh, I don't even know if they have 24-hour Subways. Well, this was a long time ago when I used to go there to visit a friend of mine who was going to college. A friend? But virtually all the chains that I knew of, they were open until midnight or possibly later here, were all closed by 9 or 10 p.m. in Chicago. Really? Yeah. Mm. So odds are nobody's getting a foot long unless it's a different kind of foot long. Or because we all in know his case, it could have been two foot longs. Yeah, a couple of six <laughs> inches, one in each hole, he got spit roasted. That's one way to stay warm in minus 30 now, degree I, weather. I know I'm disparaging these two Nigerians, but small yay. <laughs> You know, already is trying to get these guys killed. I don't. I don't really think. I. I really have no opinion. I, I have no opinion on that. Yeah, yeah. I just hope that this is all settled. Nobody dies. Justice served, one way or another. Yep. One can only hope, right? Yep. One can only hope. Keith Harney, do yourself a favor, and watch Charles Barkley killing Juicy Smollier's bullshit story. I saw that. That was. Genius. Charles Barkley. Uh, Keith Peterson wants another, but... Oh, there you go. There you go. Had that one nice and ready for That me. one's not as juicy as the other ones. Uh, that is correct. I sell cat litter with 1776. I want to hear the cat litter and boxed wine skit. It never gets old. I think I can manage that. Yeah. Stop. Don't touch me there. This is my no no square. Stop. <laughs> 
the face that always cuts back to you making just makes it all uh. well. <laughs> <laughs> Pop going full Walt Disney. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I, I got a lady friend of mine. The first time we she saw that, she literally, literally laughed her ass off. <laughs> She's like, it's so stupid. <laughs> I know, I know. I got like a former supply sergeant who probably watches the show laughing his ass off. And I'll... <laughs> I bet you got a lot of former supply sergeants watching the show laughing. Well, the off. thing is, is like when you are the company first sergeant or acting first sergeant, you have a very, very close relationship with your supply because you can't get shit done if those guys don't want to work. So you can't be really dicks to them. Yeah. You, 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 you can be harsh but fair. And uh, I can't tell you how many times I ran interference from my supply sergeants because I'm like, hey, uh, do you got all the MREs? Yeah, no? Okay. When, when are you going to have them? All right, I'll, I'll keep everyone off your back and you get the shit done. <laughs> get it done. Do it. I just do that all the time. <laughs> Reaper Zero One. Wango Tango. Oh, here we go. I was followed and approached by a paralyzed chick for shag time at a mall. Whoa. That's hardcore. Wow. And uh, the porno was called Wheels. So I had an actual speaking spunk in the handicap bathroom. <laughs> oh, wow. I, I just wonder if that's like a pity thing. Uh, a speaking spunk, huh? Is that like a new like Fisher Price like toy? So did she have the thing to like talk with? Oh, that just sounds so sexy. Please come on my face. <laughs> I think it would kind uh, of uh, kill my hydraulics if I had to listen I, I, to it. I, yeah, I would have a hard time with that. I don't think I could do it. And to listen to the you speak gotta... and spell robot or Stephen Hawking's voice. <laughs> well, I mean, let's be honest. Half the men you run into are wired to bang 80% of the women they run into. The scary part is there's that small percentage that will bang anything. All they need is a six-pack and a light switch. <laughs> Oh, God, why didn't anybody tell me? <laughs> so you never know, man. You never know. Hey, we've all we've all been there. You know, we had a few too many or what have you. And you're, you're in the middle of something with someone who you thought had cool points 20 minutes ago, but now the booze is wearing off, and you're like, what am I doing? <laughs> oh, my God. I swear she was an eight when they turned the lights off, and now she's a four. I need to get the hell out of here. She's a two again. Oh, God. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> Run away. <laughs> oh, oh. Hey. <laughs> hey. 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 <laughs> <laughs> you laughed your ass off the first time I said that story. Hey, it made the whole trip to New York worthwhile, man. <laughs> <laughs> that story was worth it all. Pimp City is, this is mega country, Wakanda forever. Wow. Yeah, Black Panther's really overrated. Dog Food 8541, testing one, two, three, testing, check, test, Uber chat works. All right, good. All right. Keith Peterson, juicy is a Peter gazer. <laughs> yes, he is. He's a meat gazer. It's a little bit more than gazing, I think. Yeah. Oh, what's a wigwag? Somebody's picking up some of uh, Sandman's lingo, it sounds like. Mm -hmm. Hey, Pop, my little brother is a corpsman. His birthday was a few days ago. He's a huge fan. His call sign is the Lizard with Nuke Breath, whom terrorizes Japan. Thanks for all y'all do. That is a $50 super chat, and that means... We're not worthy! We're not worthy! There's a lot of people who watch this show who are in the service. And a lot of cops watch it, too. Nice. Yeah, yeah, keep keep on watching, guys, and help us share this out. This is the first time that we've hit a thousand viewers in over a week. Yeah, well, we've been throttled. We're just trying to keep the gun out of people's mouths, man. Yep, using humor. But hey, you know, I, I will take Tim Pool at his word. You know, maybe the next video or stream that we post, I'll just you know take the links out, keep them on the website, or put them as a you know, pinned comment underneath afterwards. If there's any validity to it. We'll see what happens. All right. Well, I, I, I'm always down for experimenting to try how to, to circumvent the algorithm. Yeah, I got to screw Susan in the pooch. Uh, Thor Gustafson, Smollett and his henchmen probably Eiffel Towered. That's cerebral AIDS. Oh, I'm. I don't even want to go there mentally, man. I just, ugh. ugh. You know. <laughs> Attorneys like visual aids at the trial. In this case, the defendant is visual aids. I mean, this is all just my opinion. I don't, I don't know if that really happened or not. 
But as a betting man, I might have to put money on that. You might. Got to play the numbers. Mm -hmm. Crazy Uncle Juicy isn't the only one that jacked themselves up. Baldwin had an interview where he admits his guilt, deleted it of course of Tweaker, yet oh. deleted it off Tweaker, yet it is still out there. I watched that. I didn't pull the trigger. The whole, I watched the entire interview. I was literally drenched in sweat <laughs> by the end. I was so embarrassed for him. Really? Like, what a fucking idiot. It was that bad. Huh? What was the thing that set you off? The fact he's doing an interview about a murder or somebody dying and nobody's even been charged yet. How do you, are you out of your fucking mind? If he was anybody else, he would already be in shackles and perp walked. Absolutely correct. And, you know, and, uh, he needs, there needs to be a day in court and all the information needs to come out of what actually happened and then we'll, and then We'll see what happens after that. You're damn right. Keith Peterson, pink eye from the butt. <laughs> that one's a little juicier than the last one. No, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. Okay. That's what a Latino girl, too. Ooh, yeah. uh, you, you love the Latino girls, those South American women, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm retired now. I'm a retired philanderer. I'm just done with that. Retired philanderer. I am. I'm retired. You're quite the philodendron. I'm retired. Rusty Shackleford, I'm still lost on the two Nigerian guys yelling, this is mega country. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it means something else in Nigerian. No. Huh? <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> Michael Simmons, I would open fire for that two-finger offense. Yep. Yeah, Donna Lamone, he really needs to work if on his opening is line. 55 years old, and he is out in public doing stupid shit like that, you're going to get really fucking hurt. If you do it to a 20-year-old guy who's in fucking good shape, yeah, I, I, I'm in my 50s. There's no fucking way I would pick a fight with a 20-year-old or 25-year-old dude. I will get crushed. I am just a human being who's old and out of shape now. <laughs> I, I'd be like, ah. Yeah. Hey. I mean, yeah, it is what it is. Yeah, pick, your, pick your fights wisely, Mr. Lamone. Yeah, because you, you do that in the wrong place, and it's not going to go well for you. In my opinion. Of Amen course. to that. Uh, Furion won with a $5 donation. Uh, no comment attached. So if there was one there, it looks like it got censored by Susan. Irish lover 7745. I tried to switch to Army from the USMC, but I had too much testosterone to make the transition. Winning. <laughs> I, have, I have converted probably 50 former Marines into absolute stellar soldiers. Half of them are paratroopers. Well, I mean, you've said many times that the best infantry soldier on that the planet. Right out of the box. Right, yeah, right out of the box. It comes from, what was it? Hell, which island was it? Paris Island. Paris Island. The Marine. 0311s. That's infantry marine. Yeah, it's just that the Marine Corps treats their people like oh shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> they treat their people terrible. And, like. Got a retention rate worse than Blockbuster Video. Yes, I just dated myself. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> their retention rate's terrible. That's why they spend, like, so much of their budget on these crazy, stupid commercials, because <laughs> they they gotta like hype, you know, build up the hype and then yeah, of course, pump everyone yeah. through the front door and then treat them like shit and then they leave. So Sounds stupid. like good times. Good times. Stupid. It is stupid. Travis Wolf with Juicy. I can't help but think of Jed Gay Cal. Never heard of it. I don't know oh, the, the no, no. You thinking of Ned the Gay Caller? <laughs> that, that thing, we can listen to that again later if you want. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> My name is Dan. Dan. Colon, 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 I'm pounding on your colon. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of raw hide, it's raw hind. <laughs> yeah, never hear of F troop. How about F me troop? <laughs> yeah, I've, I've actually. <laughs> there's a lot of guys out there that are now old that have been doing that shit for, since their mid teens. Oh, yeah? And that piece of your body is not designed for that. No. And it wears out. And when it does, it is ugly. Yeah, you ever hear of a prolapse? It's a real thing. Yeah. And it's not something anyone should have to go through, let alone because they were stupid. Mm. It's bad enough to go through by accident. Believe me, I've heard stories. Yep. Thankfully, I never saw them in person. Actually, I saw a guy doing squats have his asshole shoot right out of, or his intestines shoot out of his ass. No shit. Yeah, he was no pun intended. No, he was he was like squatting like six fifty or something. Oh, oh, that'll do it. Yeah. And I he, he, all of a sudden, I, I didn't actually see it happen. I was li facing this way, and this is at Fort Bragg, and the dude's like, "Oh, 
ah, and then you hear the the bar come down and a couple of plates fly off. And I'm like, holy fuck. And of course, everyone runs over there and you hear the ooh, ah, uh, and there's like blood and it's all fucked up and the ambulance oh. had to come. And I, I literally, I'm like, ah, oh, poor bastard. That's a career ending injury. No shit. Yeah. Damn. That was a bad one. That's really bad. And, and he he was just, he was squatting and that's why I don't squat. That ruined uh. it for me, man. Oh. Mm. That's terrible. Absolutely terrible. All right, jumping over to Streamlabs. Looks like we got a few more here. I'm trying to see where they begin. Shark Dentures. Did you guys see the new movie trailer for the next Hollywood hit called Gun Victim? Alec Baldwin. Even he cries in it. Legitimately. Really. Those tears were completely honest. Poor Alec Baldwin. <laughs> you know what? I, it's not I, like he's an actor who gets paid to cry or anything. Yeah, I, I, I can't stand the Baldwin family. Okay, I should take that back. I don't personally know them, so I can't say that in truth. But when they get political? I don't like them because they're super liberal political idiots. Yeah. That's just my opinion, of course. Uh, with that being said, I will say that if you've seen the miniseries on Amazon, Too Old to Die Young, Billy Baldwin does give a damn good performance in that one. All right. He became kind of a, a mimetic legend with just one episode of that show. It's kind of hypnotizing, actually. Mm. Ascension! It's been a while, good sir. Good to see you. Blake, a guy named Juicy does a dry run. Everyone on the Critanic. Not possible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Juicy's not used to a dry run, if you know what I mean. He usually has to lube it up with a little bit of that Astroglide. We can drive a Cadillac into a doghouse. Yeah, which I, yeah, it's not a pretty thing to imagine. Ascension again. Blake Stutters. Oh, Sidario brother asked under, asked under oath me on the Critanic poop deck. No, no, you had it right. Go with that. Get into it. Let it feed you. <laughs> God. You're a disgusting bastard, man. I missed you. No homo. Inquisitor Jack 45. Hey, Pop and Blake, haven't been able to catch a live lately due to work circumstances. It's been going around lately. Mm -hmm. I'm shipping you a Christmas package from Maryland. Kraken rum and ooh, ooh, local trailblazer bourbon. Wishing you and yours well this Christmas, and we wish you and yours as well. Oh, yeah. And we got the black coffee. Yeah. Rum in the Plus, oh, I, I, have a, so I have a coffee liqueur that I need to bring in. Nice. I make my own at home. And for those of you that don't know, this is the original Redonkulous hat. Yep. I had to actually put uh, lacquer on it to keep it from fraying at the bill. <laughs> it's got all the luck in it. you got to seal it yeah. in. you got to leave the luck in there. You can't wash it. Nah. Ascension! I'm going to try something different. New jokes are on the way, but here's a new category I want to try out with you all. Cringy pickup lines. Oh, God. Ascension style. I'm going to start off light. First one, girl, you so fine, I'd suck your dad's dick just for a taste of the recipe. Oh, my God! Wow. I'm going to need a minute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's horrid. I, I mean. But funny. I, I don't think you're getting into bed with that. No. But it's it's a, a for effort. <laughs> you're going to get uh, I'm pretty much an automatic disqualification for that. <laughs> you say that shit. Okay. <laughs> Donna side 13 again. Worst journalist of the year, Don Lemon. Worst journalist of the year. Nice tip of the hat to John Ward. What happened to him? Did he get wrapped up in the totally real, legitimate J6 insurrection? Was he a glowy? Where in the fucking hell is John Ward? You know, I've been wondering the same thing. I haven't gotten a notification of his material in months. Yeah. I don't know. A anybody out there know the scoop? Let us know in the comments. I'm curious myself. Sure. Or maybe YouTube just completely shadow banned him and he's been doing stuff this whole time. You never Who know. knows? It's not like that hasn't happened before. No, I, I, that never happened. No. No, Susan is the most fair, totally free speech honest. friendly. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to finish. All right, here we go. Just like every other guy she ever banged. <laughs> I mean, how could you? Have you seen her? Just saying. Ugh. Shark dentures. Are you kidding, Pop? It's Chai Congo. The woman who dismissed Smollett's case inappropriately probably got promoted. Fuck up, move up. Yep. When you're a Democrat, you just kind of fail upwards. Ascension! What Pop doesn't tell you is it's all fun and games with the beer and the light switch until you hear the crunchy, crusty sound upon insertion. You're fucked. Oh, that's horrible. Munging. That's how you catch a drippy dick right there. I know. You wind up with a toothless goat. That's a Riggs. It is, until you get a dickworm. Yeah. 
It's bad. Demaster 12, for another laugh, just watch John Ward's the 100% factual recreation of the juicy Smolier hate crime that he committed. So when Smoo Jay is committed or convicted, what slash who do you think will take collateral damage from the fallout? Well, the media is going to make it about race, despite the fact everyone knows this is bullshit. I guarantee you that. That's like their go-to thing. Oh, it's racism to win. White Supreme Pizza. Yep. Racist. Obafist. Obafist. <laughs> <laughs> Anything. You're an Obafist. 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 Sounds like a German lager. Uh, give me a pint of uh, Obafist. <laughs> Are you sure you want that? Are you sure you want that? Because he's putting on the rubber glove because this is going to hurt. <laughs> It'll kick your ass up over your head like a hat, pal. Yeah, bend over. Here's your oboe fist. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to need some stitches in the morning. Ugh. Don't tell him where you got it, though. Meanwhile, Juice, he's like, that's okay. You can take off the glove. Oh, it's terrible. <laughs> Dude, we're so, we're so fucked. That's what I'm here for. I know. Ballistic Zero over on MGTOW.TV. My DD93 actually says, if I'm ever in life support, unplug me. And plug me back in, see if that works. <laughs> Alternatively, flick the light switch really fast while Arrow Shogun is in there doing the Uncle Ruckus exorcism. I want these to be followed to the T. Had one of my guys laughing so hard he fell down the stairs. <laughs> uh, so I take it that's your do not resuscitate shit. Yeah, do not resuscitate. Let's just get rid of that. Yep. Ooh. Oh, jumping over to Odyssey, uh, my favorite Frenchman here from Canada, Francois Lachatin. The way that the judiciary system in all our countries generally seems to act these days would cause me, not unlike a Quebec comedian in a particular television show, to say the following. Justice is not just about prosecuting criminals. Justice isn't just about defending the innocent people. Justice isn't just about enforcing the law. Justice isn't just about repeating the same fucking phrase over and over. You need to be brave. and Brevity, sir. About applying complicated procedures. Justice isn't just about holding all authorities accountable. Justice isn't just. Hmm. Clearly not lately. Well, the thing is, once everyone loses faith in the system, people aren't going to refuse to participate in that system. Yeah. And that's when you start the true air rifle range. Dun, dun, dun. Historically oh, speaking. We have a bet on Odyssey. All right. Five library corn from Rougarou or Rogerou. 20 minutes with the jury. 20 minutes. I, I mean, if you've seen the security footage, you really don't need anybody's testimony. Yeah, pretty much. Just my opinion. I mean, I think it's going to be like, my guess is three to four hours. They're going to want to make it look good we really thought about it yeah at, you know at most it won't be more than two days no there's no way chad soi east infantry comes out of camp geiger hmm. tatsuya i can't speak for most of the baldwin family but supposedly stephen baldwin is a good guy if a little bit out there well you know a lot of the people who are in hollywood are out there a little bit you know dun 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 all right, now we got to talk about something unfortunate, and I would say that... Uh, oh, yeah, there's something that happened in our backyard. The Oxford shooting, uh, up to four dead. Somebody died the day after of complications. So, yep, I would say, moment of silence. Sure. Rest in peace. All right, now let's rip this fucking kid apart. All right. Now, I have uh, read a couple articles on this, and uh, I watched a couple of legal analysis in regards to the parents being charged. We talked about this before the show, yeah. and we agreed to disagree. I don't think the parents should be charged with a, cr a criminal offense. They're, they're, they're civilly liable, but, uh, you know... I it mean, is what it is. It's like, I'm not a lawyer. Neither one of us are lawyers. So I don't want to be It's not really on us to say whether or not they deserve to be charged with involuntary manslaughter. But I will say that there were definitely warning signs. And they were they completely were, ignored. They are horrible fucking parents, and we're yes. going to get into why. Some of the warning signs are right here. This is Ethan Crumbly's own Instatwat, which is now gone. Mm -hmm. This was his bio the day before the shooting. Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. See you tomorrow, Oxford. Oh, my God. 
And then right here is a text message. Yeah, Diego just told me who it was. He was near the shooter. Is it that Ethan guy? Yep, there's a picture. They're sharing it. And then this is from his page. Apparently, it's a countdown to the return of the devil. And uh, there was a deer head now, this, left this on the is... lawn of the school earlier last month. All right. And All right. that was basically ignored. Did they, they caught him with the deer head, or did they know he put it there? I, I think they know he just they just know he put it there. The security uh, the, there's security surveillance cameras all over these schools. Yeah, he wouldn't be the first guy to leave deer parts of the school. I say. I have a feeling there's an army story coming on. No, no, this is a, before I went in the army, and I was in high school. All right, go for it. Uh, well, I had a row with a certain teacher. I'm not going to say his name. He's probably dead now, and I hope he is. <laughs> uh, and uh, it was towards the end of the semester. You know, the deer season was coming up, and a buddy of mine's father went out, bagged a deer, and then he calls me. You know, he, my buddy calls me over. We watch his father dress it. And then he takes, like, the hooves and whatever that he didn't use, threw it in a plastic bag, and dropped it in the garbage can. Well, I promptly took that, went to school the next day at, like, 5.30 in the morning and put it in an abandoned locker, like, across the hall from this certain teacher's, you know, room. And then it's a new semester. I, f I fucking forgot about it. Well, three weeks later, we're in a new semester. And they literally had hazmat people <laughs> <laughs> cleaning it out. <laughs> Nobody could go down that hallway for half a day. You're such a dick. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I was such an asshole. I think I was in 10th grade when that happened. Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah, so, you know, it is what it is. I was an asshole. Well, um, in this instance, the, uh, the, the deer thing was evaluated and said there was no present threat of danger at Oxford High School. All right, hang on. Hang on. Whoa. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. I mean, headless deer. All right. All right. I mean, uh, well, uh, come on. <laughs> Come on! Yeah, headless deers don't just fall from the sky. <sighs> yeah, you know, I don't know. It's a whole different age now. Like if if I was a kid nowadays, I would I'd be expelled. I'd be in juvie. I'd, I'd be fucked up. Even though I'd be, you know, the yeah. way the world is today, it's insane. Mm -hmm. uh, so school says no threat of danger, but the students feel differently. Mm -hmm. Something's something's wrong. So what I'm like, you know, what was worrying everybody? There was there have been some uh, some ominous threats posted in recent days. Is that right? Yeah, that is right. It is. I've been hearing the threats too, and it's like, you know, kids they, they play around and say, oh, we're gonna shoot up school. Or this you don't supposed to play around with that. Right. Like, this is serious. You can't do that. So I mean, like, it's a lot of stuff that's been going on. You know, this school has been it's been tragic, and it's like, I don't even know. It's just, it's just... hmm. He's got a point. He does have a point. Got a point. It's a very valid point. Yep. So, yeah. So that's the school. And a little bit more of that here. So, oh, boy. Here we so go. The plot thickens. Bloody drawings and a cry for help and Oxford's choice before the school shooting. 15-year-old Ethan Crumbly had been scrolling online for ammunition at school, drew a disturbing picture of a gun, a bullet, someone bleeding, and wrote that his thoughts won't stop, help me, and... The world is dead. But the teen also had no history of disciplinary issues at school and appeared calm when he met with school counselors, according to a letter released Saturday by the Oxford superintendent. When Crumbly's parents, who'd been called to the school for an emergency meeting, refused to take their son home, counselors made a decision, and they sent the sophomore back to class. Hours later... Hannah St. Juliana, 14, Madison Baldwin, 17, and Tate Meyer, 16, were dead and eight injured in a shooting spree. One of those injured, Justin Schilling, 17, died the next day. Okay. Now I have a question that I didn't have before because I'm reading this out loud. You know, you yeah. catch more stuff. I got you. They bought him this gun mm -hmm. that he used. Um, Why the hell it wasn't in the knows safe here. or secured, I have no yeah. idea. They bought him this gun. Now, when they're called in, because obviously there's some problems with their kid, Yep. and the, he's drawing guns and he's looking for ammunition online while in school, 
They didn't check to make sure that the gun was still at home well, before were, they went up for this meeting and yeah. refused to take him home. The, yeah, that's fucked up. The hindsight's twenty twenty, and but look at his face. That dude just looks fucked up. Mm. Yeah, well, we all look a little fucked. Aren't up they charging 15, him as an say. adult? Uh, you know, I don't know. I think they are. They very well may be. He's gonna never get out of prison, bro. Yep. Ugh. It's just ridiculous. Mm. So, yeah. But, you know, uh, hey, I mean, he's... There, there's even more craziness coming, too, so... Well, first of all, you know, a lot of these mass shooters, they're, are, they tend to be white. Mm-hmm. If you count the ones, you know, that get multiple people, you know, more than two. But a, a large majority of mass shootings happen in blue states and blue cities. Yeah. Because the definition is... A, a gun incident where two or more people are killed or wounded. Yeah. Well, 95% of these mass shootings happen in gun-free zones. Gee, I wonder why. It's yep. almost like they're selected by risk factor. Uh, yeah. Just saying. You know, to the sick and twisted. And it doesn't stop there with the parents. Well, I bet you this guy has a history of some crazy shit. He probably does. But uh, no prior disciplinary action, allegedly. Mm-hmm. Former Ethan Crumbly neighbor called Child Protective Services on the parents years ago. Report. And both parents are now facing four counts of involuntary manslaughter. Which I don't agree with. I mean, we can... We can agree to disagree. Well, I mean, like I said, I'm not a lawyer. I don't know. Could you construe it this way? Because we have the Michigan involuntary manslaughter law. Mm Mm-hmm. Involuntary manslaughter, also called criminally negligent manslaughter, occurs when a person is accidentally killed due to someone else's criminal negligence or when someone is killed during another crime where the intent was not to cause bodily injury or death. Unlike a murder charge, involuntary manslaughter means that a person had no intention of killing another but due to their careless or reckless actions caused the death of a human being. I can see where people would say that absolutely applies, and I'm sure that there's... Other ways to interpret it where you can say it definitely doesn't apply. Well, we'll find out. because We will find out. They're charged with it, and it's going to go to court. Yeah, so we're not lawyers. But uh, we agree to disagree. Yeah, well, I mean, like I said, I, I'm not really disagreeing or agreeing with you. I'm just saying I don't know. All right. I, like, I can read it, and my English major brain is like, well, you can interpret it this way, or you can interpret it this way. So, yeah, and it, we're really, people, it's going to come down to who's got a better lawyer and, or liar. A fucking dumbass. Yeah. What the hell's wrong with you? Yeah, look at his parents. I mean, listen, <laughs> I have lots of friends of mine who have bought guns for their children who are under 18. Pistols, shotguns, whatever. But that shit isn't a safe. Yep. You know, and like they go to the range. You know, this clearly go, wasn't. They take the gun out of the safe, they go to the range, they shoot it, they put it back, and then when the kid turns 21, then it's his. Uh-huh. But that didn't happen here. So this uh, there's a pattern of negligence that goes back years here. Former neighbor of uh, James and Jennifer Crumbly, who, like their son, are in Oakland County Jail, told the Detroit Free Press that the Crumbly started displaying concerning behavior years ago that prompted her to make a complaint to CPS. When they were gone, he would come and knock on her door. She told the newspaper of Ethan when his parents would leave him at home alone to go drinking at bars in 2014 and 2015, and they never left him with a phone. Lemieux said that the parents continued leaving their son at home alone even after she made a complaint and confronted them about it. So the kid was like eight or nine years old? No, yeah, well, so he's 15 now. This was, yeah, he would have been like eight or nine years old. Yeah, well, you know, I mean. Actually, no, 2014, he's 15. That's yeah, that's seven years ago. So yeah, he would have been like eight. 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 That's, eight, that's a little eight. young to be left alone. A little bit. Wow. I mean, I think I think the cutoff is like twelve years old or some shit. Mm-hmm. But you know, I I stayed home by myself. You know, from ten years old on, not a big yep. deal. But that was a whole different era. <sighs> so, wh- like I said, whether or not these people are actually guilty of involuntary manslaughter. Well, they the, are shit parents. Yes. That these are the people that you see in Walmart like you shouldn't be here. <laughs> you should have been swallowed. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I'll have to say that these people look like uh white trash. Yep. Red trash. Mm, there you go. That's in New York. 
<laughs> Michigan authorities execute search warrant at a home of a man ex- accused of helping the alleged school gunman's parents. This did not actually pan out or anything. Apparently, I guess they hung out in this dude's art studio in Novi and squatted there. He had no idea they were there. But, you know. <laughs> well, Novi. They knew what was going on. <laughs> yeah, Novi is a ritzy suburb of Detroit. Yes. Didn't used to be. It is now. What really cracks me up is that there are, yeah, this was, I I can't imagine why they were such a flight risk. Oakland County Prosecutor Karen McDonald detailed the charges on Friday, saying that Jennifer Crumbly posted about buying a gun for her son in the days before the shooting and sent a nonchalant message to him after he was caught Googling ammunition in class. Instead of reacting to it as a concerned parent and being worried about safety, Mrs. Crumbly texted, LOL, just, I'm not mad, just next time, don't get caught. Yeah, You know what? I have a buddy of mine that's a sh- Oakland County Sheriff. I'm going to probably have to call him on this one, see if he has any oh. inside info. After the shooting began. Mm-hmm. Oh, boy. Here we go. Jennifer Crumbly texted her son, Ethan, don't do it. So they refused to take him home, and then apparently that's when they went and checked for the gun. They're, they're really on top of shit. Wow. <laughs> Just just amazing. And they tried to evade law enforcement. They hung out at this dude's uh, freaking art studio. And now they're on bond for half a mil each. It's what happens when you try to run and grab a burner phone. Yeah. Just saying. I mean, the, the intent, that's going to jack it up. It probably went from 50 grand to 500 grand. Yep. They're, I mean, they wouldn't even get out on 50 grand. They probably you, don't have a lot of money. You want to see the ultimate dick move? Sure. Oxford school shooting. Ethan Crumbly appointed lawyer by court after parents only hire their own. Ooh. Well. It's like, well, I know that we're kind of responsible for this in some ways, but yeah, fuck you, kid. You're on your own. <laughs> well, I mean. Wow. Their kid put it. Well, they, they put themselves there being stupid. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, that's that's a hard pill to swallow. But, you know, on the bright side, that kid's never getting out of jail. Yeah. And I will give this though to the uh, the superintendent of the Oxford School District. He's very wise. Apparently, the Michigan AG wanted to get involved, and he's like, "No, no, we got this." Mm-hmm. Ordinarily, you know, you'd want the highest profile person there involved, but I'm sorry, the Michigan AG was appointed by Gretchen Schittler. Yep. And anyone appointed by her is going to bring a political slant to this bullshit, and it's already been politicized enough. It's so our- thank you for keeping that friggin' bitch out of this case. Who That's all I have genocide? to say about she that. She committed genocide. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of people who are dead from from rest homes because of her. Yeah, anyone who could, anyone that she would appoint, has got to be just as corrupt as her. So I, I would not you. trust them at all. No, wouldn't trust them any farther than I could throw their fat feminist asses. And as always, you can find all these sources. Feel free to comb through them. Once again, it's just us reading you the news. Handle your business. Telling you our opinion on it. Handle your business. Figure out your own shit. Now, I uh, listen, this whole thing is tragic. Yeah. All right. And these kids didn't have to die. A lot of these school shootings started a few years after no fault divorce became a national no. nationwide thing. I mean, it's not like eighty percent of violent shooters come from single parent homes or I think anything. It's higher than that. Probably. I think it's Well, hard. 85% of the people in prison had no father at all. That's absolutely correct. But a lot of the people in prison are in there for victimless crimes, too. So it's like... Yeah, like, I don't know how we're going to reconcile these people who've spent decades in jail for, like, victimless bullshit. I mean, I would be lividly pissed. Oh, so would I. <laughs> I would be royally pissed. Ugh. All right, I think we're going to read some more Super Chats, but before we get into that, I want to let you guys know that we are broadcasting everywhere. MGTOW.TV, Manosphere.TV, Odyssey.com, DLive.TV, RoxyTube, and Twitch in addition to YouTube. How many people we have on after 90 minutes? 1,027 on YouTube. Fuck yeah. 72 on Twitch. 76 on D Live. It looks like D Live's actually working tonight. Nice. That's nice. 110 on RoxyTube and 45 on MGTOW.TV. So about 1350. That's not bad. Yeah. And MGTOW.TV's wallet still works. That's always a plus. I'll take it. I'll take it. That's what she said. 
Uh, Tim Reuter, Reuter, R U I T E R, added to the trifecta of drinks. Standing, sir. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Keith Peterson says, This is fun. Thank you for pop service. <laughs> he All just right. likes that he can take, make me into a dancing butt monkey and push it up on the screen for him. Nice. Town drunk. Nice name. Uh, I don't know. Somebody's jockeying for your position, Pop. I'm a city drunk. <laughs> no, you're a suburb drunk. Uh, okay. Pop and Blake, remember, age and treachery will always beat youth and strength. Yes, it will. What's a wigwag? My best friend, former MP, spoke of a domestic call on Fort Hood that a soldier's wife found out he was cheating, waited one night when he passed out, and surgery inserted a mercury thermometer into his member and broke it. Oh my god. That's fucked up. Whew. Wow. That's uh kind of gives you a little uh, sympathy pangs down here in your uh not your thinking meat, your other meat. <laughs> yeah, in your one-eyed wonderworm meat straw. I mean, it's kind of your thinking meat until you're 34, but... Yeah, once the over, <laughs> big head overpowers the little head. It's got that little hole in the end where all the bad decisions come in. Yeah, up until that point, you're a free-range fornicator. Yeah. Yep. Things always backfire. Patriot of the West. OB, gentlemen, would appreciate Blake reading Subscribe Star. Hey, I'll check it out. Why not? Let's do it. Let's check out your tips, good sir. As long as you're the same name on there, it makes it hard to figure these things out sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Like, people are like, oh, I sent you an email. I'm like, okay, what's your, I, I, I don't know your screen name, so I'm going to read your real name. No! Hey, you did it to yourself. Oh, oh! <laughs> no, actually, we try to keep you. If you don't want to have your name on, we're not going to tell your name. No. no. Oh, wow, a couple of giant donations here from Patriot of the West, so we're just going to give them one of these. We're not worthy! We're not Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Odin Bless, gentlemen, I spoke with an Australian recruitment medic recently, told him about the knee and head quacks, and asked him a realistic time frame for enlistment being possible again. Good news is I finished my rehab for the knee and get the head quacks to F off and write a letter saying that I'm not insane or a Nazi or a Nazi bowl, and I'm 18 months head med free. I can start the process. Been All right. Now, anyone out there looking to enlist in the service, no matter what service it is, if you took head meds, ADHD meds, or any of that horse shit in your teens, when you go to enlist, you better not have that in your bloodstream, number one. And two, don't you say shit about it. <laughs> All right? Yeah. Because you will get disqualified so quick, it'll make your head spin no, no. on head meds. Uh, lies by omission are not technically lies when there's paperwork involved. I'm going uh, to be honest. Like, when I went in, I literally had, like, six guys who were going to MEPS with me that morning. And the recruiter's like, all right, what's going on here? Uh-huh. He's still going through his paperwork. All right, this here, you say shit. Uh, keep your mouth shut. You're good. All right. You should be good. And they get to me, he's like, yeah, hey, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have any squall. I, I had no law. I, you know, I, I was good to go. It's good times. All right, he's got a lot more here. Uh, going back to my MMA for my New Year resolution to start the healing process. Might even cut back on the cigarettes as the happy juices start flowing again. As the head quacks did say in the New Year, they'd start to decouple. To any young viewers who are about to receive their manhood by default, I've been homeless more times than housed as an adult, walked across two deserts, been stabbed twice, shot at once, and still am not an inch of the man my grandfather was during NAM. But a word of advice before this rant is too long. If old mate lets you shelter in his garden shed, don't drink more than you can handle or you'll have to prove to the whole world that this homeless bum isn't a flight risk, no matter how much of a flag-saluting man you may be. Yeah, this man. People don't seem to understand. Being a dude is tough. Yeah. All right. Because you're held responsible no. for everything, even I shit you didn't do. There's no safety net for you either. No. It's all on you. It's it. Handle your shit. Exactly. And another one from Patriot of the West here. Odin Bless, gentlemen. Farm work is going well. Say going well. Saved enough money for a year's MMA membership. We'll be doing boxing, Muay Thai, and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, Kazoo tight, on top of Pop's training guide for a combat-ready body. 
Running right. and swimming I can do for free, and I also have a push bike for extra fat burning. Hopefully three years from now the ADF will allow me to enlist. Plan from there is to work to E5 to E7 and kiss ass enough to transfer to U.S. force and earn citizenship. More power to you, bro. Yeah. Good luck to you in everything. Now, if you ever do that, you let me know, and I might actually come to your graduation. Yeah. Yeah, because they'll send you back to basic in AIT if you come from another country. Yeah. That's just how it is. Thosh, also on subscribe star, donated $20. Thank you so much, good sir. I appreciate your work. Would go into battle with you every time. Uh, I'm honored. But let's hope it doesn't come to that. Yeah, you've been uh, forging boys into men for years, and uh, now you are figured out a way to do it over the Internet. Well, I went from one battlefield or battle space to another. Yeah. So I went from, like, the physical battle space to the mental, mental battle, mental spiritual battle space. Yeah. And I'm not even, like, a religion nut. No. No. I know you're not. Religion nuts kind of... Uh... The kind they, of, they they do make me a little uncomfortable. Yeah, they make everyone uncomfortable. That's why they they have those big churches where all the nuts go. Yeah, they're like uh, I mean, most of the religious nuts I know they're not like Carrie White's mom. When you get to that level, I'm like, okay, yeah. Why are you here? You shouldn't be here. You should have been swallowed. Now listen, I, I I'm all cool with people if they're like uber religious. I have a problem when they try to convert me. Oh yeah, and the funny thing is is the same people who will insist that you're an ist if you don't bang a chick that used to be a dude uh -huh. have that same opinion about religion. Mm. But they have no pr problem trying to force their own Craziness. crazy ideology on you. Yeah, It's amazing yeah. how that, that works, shit. isn't it? Well, it's different. He loves me. I don't Listen, <laughs> you're never going to be able to guilt a man into making his dick hard. It's just not going to happen. No. You cannot negotiate attraction no matter how hard nope. you try. Nope. Where? Irish lover 7745. Mark Dice summed up the hate hoax crimes. The hoax hate crimes. Yes, he did. Mm -hmm. And we, we, we've had numerous articles with lists. Dozens and dozens deep for these things. Most hate crimes are hoaxes. It is what it is. Yeah, and they have to they have to they have to hoax it because it doesn't really exist anymore. Yeah. Okay, we got three butts from Keith Peterson. Luckily, I got a lot here. All right. Oh, there's one. Ooh. All right, gotta take. Well, let's take two soccer balls. Boing. Okay. It's a good one. That's there. okay. Oh, 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 and and and. Ah, uh, 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 go. that one's good. Not too bad. Not too bad. Nice butts. Nice butts. Smooth criminal. He got that from Krishna, an Ind Indian deity. Hmm. Krishna. Well, just like I write about this in my book, just because it's of a different religion doesn't mean it's unwise. Exactly. Terry M., red dot on a handgun. I'm looking. Red dot on Smollett. Just kidding. He going down. <laughs> yeah, he's, he screwed himself up, man. This, yes, he did. This is stupid. Fuck him. D Star 2 with a $50 super chat. Thank you. We're not worthy. We're not worthy. <laughs> Thank you very much. And thanks again to Patriot of the West over on Subscribe Star. Very generous. And we're glad to hear that things are moving in a positive direction for Fuck you, yeah. sir. AF, thoughts on soccer cleat versus sneaker versus combat boot for direct action. I have three different style of combat boots I've tried so far. Cleats seem the fastest. Ah. Uh. All right. You're making them think. First of all, cleats have a problem, especially if you're walking on uh, rock or ice, unless it's they're specifically designed for walking on ice. So that's going to be a problem. And if you have cleats and you come in and out of your, your barracks or building, you're going to play hell keeping your floor good because your chain of command will climb up your ass. All right. Now, combat boots are always a a plus because most of the combat boots out there have been worn by many soldiers, have been tried and tested, and they're fine. I have two or three pairs of combat boots that I have literally had for my entire military career, and I've only had to have them resold. And the the ones I took to selection, special forces selection, was a resold pair of jungle boots, 
and they were better than any of the fancy Reebok horseshit boots you can ever buy. No problem. Hands down, gold combat boots. Which is my opinion, of course. Just your opinion. But it's a practiced one. All right. I said, John, on the Crytanic, we call a prolapse the check engine light. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Time for a trip to the garage, good buddy. Yeah, you're going to get that shit sewed up. Oh, uh, you sick bastard. Shark Dentures, I'm glad you guys have your backups in place. YouTube has gone ban happy lately. Former MGTOW, now current event slash anime content creator, Raging Golden Eagle, got completely nuked with no strikes. Thankfully, he's probably coming back in a week or two. Well, let's hope so. Yeah. There needs to be some lawsuits about this. This is crazy. Yeah. Shark Dentures again. Didn't Heels Up Harris try to institute your kid does something wrong, you get arrested back yes. in the day in California? She did. Well, she was looking for any reason to uh, exploit slate labor. Yep. That's exactly what that is. It is what it is. Dinoside 13. How about we give our children in public schools as much security as gun-grabbing politicians who defend burning down cities? If they're going to tax you, at least use it to protect kids. But no, guns bad and working class families are the real problem. Yep. That's a bunch of horseshit. Exactly how they, they do it. The fact that they're willing to use the FBI to intimidate parents who are just concerned about their children's education shows you exactly where their heads are. Uh, up their ass. Yep. That's some pretty, uh, that's some brown shirt shit right there. That's some Nazi brown shirt stuff. Drill Sergeant Death by Dick and Butt. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Damn! I got to put in my Rod Serling voice here. In a world where Pop had to get a Metropolitan Sunday and a Slovakian traffic cone at the same time with huh. Jizz Lane, Tess Holiday, and Lana Rhodes, straw and watch for email for watch email for Jackal shipment of butt pics, not his own. You gay lords. <laughs> <laughs> You bastard. <laughs> not his own. I would sincerely hope you're not sending us pictures of your ass, good sir. That would be a problem. All that right. Be a problem. Uh, they're not here yet. Okay. It's unfortunate. We're looking forward to it, though. We always like a good ass around here, I'm just saying. <laughs> Jimmy Bones, speaking of religious nuts, plumbers found something like 600K in the walls behind a loose toilet recently in one of the famous pastor's homes. I'm fuzzy on the deets, but apparently there was money missing from the church fund. Shocker! You want to smell it? That's actually very common. Very common. Oh, yeah. And my grandfather was uh, a minister. Oh, so, oh, you meant prophet. Yeah. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. My grandfather was a minister. And I remember when I was a kid, I'd hang out at the church with him because I'd, I'd spend half the summers at my grandparents' house. And he actually fired a couple of people for misappropriation of funds. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Good. That's what yeah. should happen. Yeah. So it never really got to be a big problem because he was on top of that shit. Good. All right, Shark Dentures, the Rittenhouse jury gave me a spark of hope. I pray the Smollett jury doesn't snuff it out. Well, we'll see. We'll Amen see. to that. I mean, right now, I mean, there's a huge spiritual conflict going out, going on in the world. Yep. So. It really is. And the forces of evil are, are relying on ignorance and laziness to succeed. Yeah. And, uh... <laughs> Ironically, in an age of information that's never been easier. I know! It's insane. Shocking. Like, you literally have the power of the Library of Congress here at your fingertips. Yep. So, if you choose to be ignorant, it's yeah. a fucking choice. It is a choice. Don't make excuses. Just like, I'm lazy and I don't care. That's all yep. you gotta say. I'm like, okay, move along. <laughs> You're a sheeple. Crimson Hawk on MGTOW.TV. Ridiculous motto, break our heart, we break yours. I like it. Arrow Shogun, he wants me to do a Cosby voice. Sir. I got sent to the alternative high school for bringing three 9 millimeters of 38 and 12 GA shotgun, 12 gauge shotgun shell to school because I was a super immature spurg that wanted attention for the dumbest things and for the laughs. But when you're allowed to search your ammo in class and parents are buying weapons you have no training for, that is a recipe for disaster. It is. What a dysfunctional family. Zip bop boop de bop a jello. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's my first attempt at a Cosby voice. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. <laughs> Hope you guys like that one. All right. Speaking of uh, people who are known for touching things inappropriately. Oh, here we go. We got our last subject of the night here. If you guys watched Crowder, you've already kind of gotten a, a hit of this, but this is messed up. Although, 
No, I'm not shocked. Oh, hang, oh, hang on. I got to get a good one here. Uh, uh, I can't, but can't say I'm surprised. Nope. Secret CIA files say staffers committed sex crimes involving children. So the C in CIA now stands for CHOMO. <laughs> the CHOMO Intelligence Agency. <laughs> wow. Or the CHOMO Invasion Agency. That's so you fucked up, man. Yes, it is. Declassified CIA Inspector General reports show a pattern of abuse and a repeated decision by federal prosecutors not to hold agency personnel accountable. Y'all are sounding more and more like an ideology all the time. I'm sorry. If you're abusing children, you should be held to the highest letter of the law. You oh, need yeah. to be hammered. And it's not just the CIA, as we'll see from some of the sources I was able to dig up. CIA, over the past 14 years, has secretly amassed credible evidence that at least 10 of its employees and contractors have committed crimes involving children. Though most of these cases were referred to U.S. attorneys for prosecution, only one was ever charged with a crime. Prosecutors sent the rest of the cases back to the CIA to handle internally, meaning few faced any consequences beyond the possible loss of their jobs and security clearances. That yep. marks a striking deviation from how sex crimes involving children have been handled at other federal agencies such as Homeland Security and the DEA. Insiders say the agency resists prosecution of its staff for fear the cases will reveal state secret. I don't fucking care. Take it, your greater good bullshit and shove it up your ass. Like if you're, I mean, there's just no excuse for it. It's like the fucking Catholic Church. Uh, one employee had a contact with a two-year-old and a six-year-old. Wow. The only thing that happened to him, he was fired. A second employee purchased three explicit videos, spicy videos, of young girls filmed. Oh, no. Oh, I'm going to get pissed. By their mothers. Holy shit. He, he resigned. A third estimated that he had viewed up to 1,400 spicy images of children while on agency assignments. This is kitty porn, right? The records do not say what action, if any, the CIA took against him. A contractor who arranged for spicy time with an undercover FBI agent posing as a child had his contract revoked. Why are these people not in prison? Uh, corruption? Oh, and these are the people who are supposed to keep your state secrets safe. And keep you safe. Period. Wow. Fuck. Yeah, they're supposed to be looking out for the best interests of our country. Seems like they're only looking out for the best interests of themselves. Yeah, you know, I'm going to be honest. Um, the alphabet agencies need to be combined. A lot of people need to be fired. Yeah. Because, you know, they just they don't work well together. They, they, they hire the – they're mediocre because they have uh, affirmative action. Yep. You don't hire the best people. You have to have a quota. If you have a quota, the standard the, the the standard of the people you want to hire goes way down. Yeah. That would explain this particular report here. This is an actual report that I got here called Operation Flicker. This comes from the Inspector General Department of Defense. This is from this Syracuse, filed, New York. This was filed in 2009. The first paragraph here is enough to put you in a tailspin. Uh -huh. On July 11th, 2007, this reporting agent received a lead referral from Special Agent Redacted, DCIS Mid-Atlantic Field Office, regarding the Immigration and Customs Enforcement Initiated Operation Flicker. Operation Flicker is a nationwide investigation that has identified over 5,000 individuals that have subscribed to predicated child orn pay websites. SA Redacted sent a list of individuals in New York State that are employed by the Department of Defense, U.S. military, that have subscribed to websites containing or and pay images or other material that exploit children via the Internet. Over 5,000. Well, I know in the Army, they will fucking bust your nuts for this. Yeah. They don't fucking play. You know, in my time, <sighs> I, I have never, ever had a soldier get, you know, hemmed up for this stuff. This is, uh, yeah. So, 
Yeah, that's fucked up. This is this is really messed up. It's it's a whole report. You guys are free to you know go through it, have some fun. I mean, you know, or at the very least, have a very very solid excuse for drinking. I'm just trying to like <laughs> the Inspector General Department of Defense. I didn't know they had a uh, a fucking uh, what you call it? Yeah, Defense Criminal In Investigative Syracuse, Service, York. Syracuse Post of Duty. Huh. Well, go up again. Does it give a unit designator anywhere on there? Uh, not that I see. I mean, there's all this alphanumeric mumbo jumbo. A uh, headquarters investigative operations director at Northeast Field Office, Pittsburgh Re- Resident Agency. I'm just saying that's that, where the distribution is from, anyway. Okay, because if that's from Syracuse, New York, there's a couple of units there, and one of them is Civil Affairs, but I don't, I don't recall them having the Inspector General there at all. If 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 there was, I would have used him, but I. Ugh. You want to know who else had some ties to the CIA? Oh, here we go. Bing! The guy who didn't kill himself? <laughs> the guy who didn't kill himself. Now, remember I said earlier that we were going to be looking at another article later from the Daily Beast that just shows you how disingenuous, narcissistic, and full of shit these fucking leftoids are? Here we go. Feast your eyes. The craziest bits from the new Epstein book. Jacko, which is Michael Jackson, Trump, Prince Andrew, and the CIA. Now, it's been in vogue to smash on Michael Jackson for years. Trump, of course. But I'm going to read you the first couple of paragraphs of this. Now, the average person usually only gets two or three paragraphs deep in any news article that they read. And then they just zone out. Now, if you just read this headline, you're going to assume the worst about every single person listed in this subheading, correct? Uh Uh-huh. Now, if I recall, you know, Trump didn't really go to that island. Exactly. A new book reveals shocking details about Epstein's connections to the famous, including Trump, Clinton, and Prince Andrew, and drops hints about Epstein's ties to the CIA. Mm. Now, most people are only going to get through these first four paragraphs. Yep. Jeffrey Epstein beckoned lawyer Brad Edwards into a private room to issue a warning. It was early 2010, and the men who were courtroom rivals for the past two years have been waiting for a deposition to begin. How long is this going to go on, Brad? Epstein asked, to which Edwards replied, Till it's over, I guess. Epstein then warned Edwards, who represented multiple victims of the sex trafficker, that he held the advantage. The difference is that I have unfair power at my fingertips, Epstein said. I hired a former MMA champion who is out there in the hallway, and I have access to all the resources in the world. You don't even know who all my friends are. Edwards, who details this chilling encounter in a new book, was only at the start of his 12-year legal battle with Epstein. When it began, Edwards' small Florida firm was up against a Goliath whose legal teams had hundreds of employees. At one point in their court tangles, Epstein hired investigators to camp outside Edwards' home, resulting in Edwards hiring his own PIs to watch the watchers. Okay. And go down here again. We're still, this is seven paragraphs deep here. And then you see, but the book also reveals new details about the famous and powerful people in Epstein's world, including Donald Trump, former President Bill Clinton, and magician David Copperfield, and about Epstein's alleged connections to the CIA. So we're still, this still is being framed Uh like Trump was in on it. Yeah, I know. But there are pictures of President Clinton with whores in the room. And And just Lane Maxwell at a wedding where she was supposed to be out of town hiding from from prosecutors Uh with the Clintons. Yeah, I saw that. Okay, so we got Bill Clinton and Epstein. We know that he took like 23 different flights to Lolita Island. And so did uh, some of the royal family. Yep. So just Lane Maxwell attended Clinton events while hiding from lawyers. We know that. Now we finally get to the section on Trump. Oh, this is going to be the smoking go. gun. It's going to be the smoking gun. Did he pee on whores? Trump gave helpful intel on Epstein. <gasps> Ooh. The first of Epstein's powerful friends to answer our subpoena in a meaningful way was Donald Trump, Edwards writes, adding that Trump phoned him in 2009, no deposition necessary. The magnate said Epstein was a business acquaintance, they'd attended some society events, and that Epstein had crafted the infamous terrific guy quote Trump gave to New York Magazine in 2002. Trump told Edwards the last time he saw Epstein, he'd visited the money manager's home in Palm Beach and noticed young women outside. Epstein claimed the women were part of a mentoring-type program that he was involved in, which Mr. Trump thought was a bit odd. Edwards continues, Trump called Epstein a strain, called him strange, and claimed he never really liked him before sharing a list of names of people who, according to Edwards, would know Epstein's propensities better. In 2015, when Edwards took Trump's deposition for an unrelated case, the reality star allegedly shared more intel. 
He framed most of the information he had about potentially relevant leads as rumors that he had heard over the years, and still, his rumors were helpful. Mm. You see how the mainstream media lies their ass off with framing? Misdirection is what that is. Yeah. It's well, misdirection. It, it's, it's technically called framing. Okay. For, from a literary standpoint, this is framing. You're framing your argument. Uh-huh. And the way that this is framed until you get way down here Do you realize is Trump, that Trump is a part of it. Trump was like, he's a weirdo. I don't want anything yeah. to do with the guy. And he was one of the first people to jump ship and toss him under the bus as soon as everything came to light. Yep. And he never once took a plane to that fucking island, unlike certain stunning and brave former presidents. I hope not. <laughs> but down here, this is really messed up. It doesn't get to the CIA stuff until the very end. Epstein's bodyguard was sent to CIA headquarters. The former okay. guard, a Russian mixed martial arts fighter, warned Edwards to be careful of Epstein, telling him, you don't know who you're dealing with. He knows everybody who's powerful in this world. When Epstein was still incarcerated in Palm Beach County, he sent the Russian to CIA headquarters in Virginia, the bodyguard claimed. This is messed up. Where the man was the only private citizen in a class of 45 people with top secret clearance wow he said he stayed one week i don't know why i was there but he told me they would take care of me the ex-employee said adding everyone introduced themselves and the instructor saved me for last he did not let me introduce myself instead he just introduced me as what he called a special operative at week's end, the MMA fighter said he received a book with a personalized note for Epstein. The ex-guard delivered the tome to Epstein's cell without reading the message. He told Edwards that Epstein goes out of his way not to share real information. He spends most of his days doing what you know he does, hanging out with girls, getting massages. The rest is traveling with very specific missions, and most don't last very long. The girls he trusts come along. Hmm. Top secret clearance. Well, if you're going to go to the CIA headquarters, Ooh. everyone there has the TSSCI clearance. But only 45 civilians, and Epstein happens to be one of them? Yeah, that's kind of fucked up. A little bit. Yeah. And the CIA would know what he was up to. Of course. <laughs> I mean, either the CIA or the NSA, I mean, they have incredible resources. In fact, they, they probably already cracked my phone. Read my emails. Probably listen to me on, my, uh, you know, on my smart TV. I mean, come on. I didn't even know this until I started looking this stuff up today, and then I was just going through the CIA information, and I found this, and I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> That's nuts, man. Why would you give this fucking kid diddler top secret clearance? Or at, well, it's horrendous. I don't know if they gave him top secret clearance, but they allow him be in an area that is secured. That's well. That's it a says big, right here. No, uh, uh-uh. uh. The only private citizen in a class of forty-five people with top secret clearance. Yeah. Wow. I mean, I used to be the S two for a couple of battalions in the that army. Is nuts. And I literally, if uh, we'd have certain rooms that you could not enter if you didn't have the proper clearance. Yeah. Like literally, I was out the door like, and I'd looking through all the the clearances on the computer. I'm like, ah, oh, you got a secret clearance. You can't come in here. Yeah, you it. That was my job. Yeah. I did that for like a year and a half, two years. Woo. Well, it is almost 10 o'clock. I think we can uh, All right. wrap up the super chats. What Let's do you do say, that. Good, sir? Irish lover, 7745. I am convinced that shooting with iron sights is preferable to red dots. Fuck yeah. But scopes are still for expert marksmen. Nah. 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 Listen, um, there's. There's a very fine line between a designated marksman and a sniper. Yeah. All right. Red dots are cool, but they need a battery. And I've always said if it needs batteries, when you need it most, it'll fail. <laughs> Tell me about it. Now, I've used a lot of optics, a lot of scopes. And if you know what you're doing and you have trained with that particular optic on that weapons platform and you know its capabilities, you can... You're, you're you're an absolute terror. Like when I, when I was in second bat, when I was a sniper, if I could see any part of you inside of 500 meters, I could shoot it. Your foot, your hand, anything. And luck, and well, it's kind of not luckily, but to my chagrin, we didn't have the 50 cal system yet, because I know guys who did get the Barrett. 
and they went through a whole courses on how to where to shoot vehicles and radios and take down. I mean, it was insane. But you know, I see her here and there. What do I know? Yeah, it's not like you did the the army thing for thirty three years or anything. Uh, the last twelve years, I was just you know, I was a trainer. I yelled at people. Did a lot of paperwork. Didn't really do much. What are you gonna do? But to be fair, you have to hang I, out with the red trash. I mean, I got wounded in 04, and I probably should have been medically discharged back then. But, you know, I sucked it up and drove on for another decade and a half. Yeah. Yes, you did. And uh, driving 500 miles each way. 571 miles five, one way. Yeah. Five and five and a half miles years. each way. Whew. Yep. Yeah, that's when we filmed our old episodes. Was you know mm-hmm. we'd have to do like two in a weekend because you'd be gone for. <laughs> half yeah, the month. I, I always get these questions like, uh, "Well, what does it take to be a Green Beret?" Well, uh, you need to have the mental mindset to do what needs to be done and not let get anything get in your way. Yep. If you can do that, you can do anything. The physical stuff. If you can mentally do that, the physical stuff will solve itself. Because your mind is strong enough to get your body up to speed. And that's just a good mantra for life in general. Yeah, it is. And make up your mind to do something and you and fucking, fucking do, it. do it. And follow through. That, that, that's the biggest issue with most people that I know. Do you know how many They're times? They're idea people. I had fucking sciatic pain shooting down my leg. And I like it's like 2 in the afternoon and I know I got to get in the car and drive nine fucking hours. <laughs> And I'm like, you know, I should just call him and tell him. Well, there's a reason why you had the butt donut. Yeah. Well, not one fucking time, not one time in my my children's childhood did they ever, like, have to wait for me and me never show up. Never. Yeah. Never. Because you follow through. That's right. Damn right. Keith Peterson again, but Mm -hmm. Mm, I like the frog position there. Eh. It's not bad. It's all right. America the Free with a $20 donation. Thank you so much. Don't get to watch the channel often enough, but I really love it. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you all very much for tuning in. Still 963 people watching on YouTube. It's a pretty good audience there. And almost 100% saturation with the likes. We're only nice. short by 65. Do it! I'll hammer it. Cabragoon Cabulous. They can still be prosecuted while saving state secrets. It costs 45 cents and two yards of loom. <laughs> well, yeah. Igor Slagathor. Slagathor, I like that. Name. Yeah. Hi, sirs. I would love to see you do a video on Yuri Bezmanov and how they so match up to what we're seeing now in society. Keep up the great work. I've watched that video probably half a dozen times. And you could do an AAR on that. Yeah. 90% of what he talked about is happening. And it's China that's doing it, not yep. the Soviet Union. Yeah. It's almost like they they look at failing regimes as, in, instead of cautionary tales, they look at them as, well, how can we do it better? Yeah. That's so stupid. Well, they just did it wrong. They Shut the did it wrong. fuck up. Fuck off. We are hair, evil, hairless monkeys, and we'll always crave, crave more power, and we fucking will do evil fucking shit to each other if we can. You're damn right. Every time. I'm, and I'm no exception. Uh, yeah, well, that's why we made the shirts. Just saying. Mm-hmm. All right. We got some butts. I think we got some butts. Now, now, can we look at them safely on her? Eh? Uh, Let's take a look here. That she, that woman looks expensive. <laughs> she looks uh, a little plastic from the neck up as well. Oh, you see how long her, her heels are? Oh, yeah. You can't each, really see what, them here because I can't heels? scroll up. Uh, it, yeah, those are six-inch heels. That's yeah. $600,000. Yeah, there are Asian businessmen who would pay her to stomp on their testicles. You better have a net worth of six hundred k, or you're not even going to get in the same room with that girl. Yeah, she ain't worth it. Nope. It's like puking on a pile of shit. Ooh. That's no, not bad. This is Russian. And that, that's in a ballerina that. studio, too. Look at that. Yeah, I can't get the damn thing to scroll up. That's all right. <laughs> well, what are you going to do? Hey, what are you going to do? Actually, maybe I can maybe I can drag this and bring it up a little bit. Nope, can't nope, do that. Can't either. do it. Fuck him. Fuck it. Fuck him. So uh, limitations, limitations. Oh, nothing's like perfect, it. bro. What do you want? More Russian booty. Oh, oh, I, oh. That, well, this one I can't show on YouTube. Can't show that one. But it's uh, it's, uh it's nice. That's Hopefully a bare it's ass to a nice face. That's that's not bad. A probable fake ass. 
That, that's that, that's definitely fake. That's way too big. That's definitely that fake. She, she got the Brazilian booty lift going on in you there. You think so? I think we can show this one because it'll probably cut it off. Oh, no, you can see it a little bit. Eh, come back here real quick. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what are you going to do? Yeah, that, that's I, a side ass. Good. You can see side ass. I like how he actually just called it bitchy butt. Yeah. Uh, side ass. Side it's ass. like side boob. Side boob, yeah. Oh, my. Yeah. There you go. I don't think we can show that one. No, we can't show no, that one. It's a nice gift, it. though. That's nice. Bunny butt. No, that's not bad. We can show that one. That's Lana Rhodes. <laughs> Is that Lana Rhodes? <laughs> that's Lana Rhodes. Is she a porn uh, girl? Yeah, but it's probably way off screen. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She's the one who uh, who who got the uh, the bowl full of excrement and puke oh, and yeah. had to eat it. And just, oh, oh, oh. That is just nasty. It's quite horrendous. <gasps> I didn't know how to say no. And you now you want to. Yeah. Uh, you look at him and you go, no. And he said, here's some chocolate. <laughs> some chocolate. Some dark chocolate from the looks That's of it. That's not bad. It's not, it's bad. not bad. Not bad. I've had better. And then no, the problem with That was all of them. Yeah, we showed you what we could. Yep. Uh, some of them were just too big for me to be able to actually move up on the screen. Apologize. What are you going to do? Figure out something better for that. It is what it is. We yeah. should actually have a file on the website where all the old butts get get sent. So if people want to like look at them or download them for themselves, they can. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. And that one came from First Sergeant Ass Prolapsator. <laughs> If All people right, are some sick All motherfuckers, right, I approve. Tracy Wilborn, on this Pearl Harbor Day, a date that will live in infamy, I want to thank you, Pop, for your service, and Blake for your service as captain of the Crytatic. While I do what I can. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, the 398. Out. Although on the Crytatic, it really does give new meaning to going down with the ship. That's horrible. It is. Dinoside 13. Everyone always says, would ship a go burr? I've done a good amount of tree service. Take it from me. Chippers are complicated. They get clogged with chips. Dump trucks are better. Between the frame and the lifted dump bed, slam the bed down, crunchy splat. Off. Well, in Abu Ghraib prison, they had a wood chipper in the middle of the desert. Mm. I wonder what that was for. Yeah, it wasn't for chopping trees, no. I guess. No. That wasn't for mulching the garden. Mm -mm. Mm. That was not a good day. No, that doesn't sound like a very good day. It sounds like a very... A very bad day, actually. All right. Jumping over to Odyssey here from Andreas Christian. To me, it's the school's fault. Teachers always look the other way. If they charge the kid as an adult, the parents are blameless. If they charge him as a kid, the parents are liable. So if they're charging the parents, then they must be charging him as a kid. I don't know. I heard he was getting charged as an adult. Well, if they're charging him as an adult, then that's actually going to weaken their case. I'm... I would not, think. We're not lawyers. No, we're not lawyers. But if this interpretation is correct, then I would say that would weaken their case. Well, I don't know, man. We'll see. Yeah. It, Question. It, they've been charged. It's going to go to court. So we'll yeah. see what happens. Yeah, we'll see what happens. We're not lawyers. so. Question. Was the kid on any meds? Uh, I didn't Probably hear any, was. Probably, but I didn't hear anything about it. You're not going to hear meds. about it until it gets to court. And, and even if he up. was, would they... Would I put it past parents who would leave an eight-year-old at home to go drinking to swipe his medication and then use it to toke up themselves or sell it for money for other things yeah they're uh, not exactly well-rounded people yeah and another thing is we we give out way too much medication to people it's not necessary for the most part amen also the black school shooter in texas got off with no legal issues double standards again Yep. Also, this is a very slippery slope. It's a kid and a gun grab because now they can argue, you got kids, no guns allowed. I didn't even think about that part. Yep. But, I mean, every time they try to go for more gun grabs, it falls flat. This country has been moving in a pro-gun trajectory now for decades. Like, back in the day when I used to have my own firearms, I usually kept them in a locked toolbox in a locked closet. So there's two locks you had to get through to get to it. Because I had kids in the house. Yeah. So. Makes that's sense. the way it is. Caleb on. Fucking Twitch is being flaky as hell right now. 826 Central Time. Yeah, Twitch well, does that sometimes. They don't always all work 100%. No. At like least D-Live Live has been fucking up. Yeah, so D-Live is working tonight and now Twitch is fucking up. Yeah. Uh, Chad, CIA equals Chomo Indoctrination Agency. <laughs> Brutal. But true. 
Uh, Andreas Christian, if you do that the, to kids, you deserve no tri- trial. Just to be treated to dancing a pirate's jig or treated to a very la- very fast drop with a sudden stop. All right. Yeah, we're not all about that. Right no, here. no, you need a trial. Yep. You, need, you need Listen, if you're going to impose capital punishment, you need to have a trial. That's just my opinion. Yeah. And Andreas Christian again, CIA, chomos in action. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Do you remember that thing that happened in, uh, was it South America, where a bunch of Secret Service guys got hammered because there was some whores in there and there was a big hootie do? <laughs> like, who the fuck was that uh, guy in charge? I don't know. The minute that shit started going off the handle, like, you, you reach in your pocket, you pull out your money and go, here's the money, get the fuck out of here. And it would all been done. But no, yeah. no, no. It all like, got blown out of proportion. All out of proportion. Always. Yeah. Uh, Fauci Epstein Island. Mm. The marionette in chief. <laughs> uh, 20 questions. How do you know if a ge- gender role is female? Answer, it smells like yeast. Or an old tuna melt. Ugh. Extra onions. Got to bread that shit apart. Ugh. Uh, Larry Gorky to Terrence Pop. Sometime, maybe next Veterans Day, wear your green beret for us. Wear a ball cap with Hopkins. I wear a ball cap with Hopkins Navy Jack, but show that green beret. Yeah, maybe. We'll see. Maybe. I'm not one of those guys. Like, I, like most of the guys I know who retired, they have like their office and I love me wall. I don't have any of that. At the last time, I think the only time that I've seen you wear the green beret was for Purple Heart. Yep. That yeah. was years ago. I mean, I used to wear it every day when I was you know, working for the Army. Cause yeah. In civil affairs and psyops, you're allowed to do that. Yeah, and we had to be very careful what we showed on your uniform for that film. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I remember, like, I used to carry a memo from a general saying I was authorized to wear the Green Beret. Oh, yeah? Because I had lots of people like, well, you're not allowed to wear that. Yeah, you're not yeah, special yeah. forces. You're not like, you think, whoosh, whoosh. two-star general says, fuck off. Yeah, kiss my ass. Get away from me. Psychotic. All right. A big shout out over to our uh, watchers over on D Live. Dapper Sapper is bringing the gift game and Wiggle Wiggle Worm? A wiggle Wagon. A wiggle Worm would have been better. Mm. But uh, yeah, I love the gift game over on D Live. You guys are having a good time. Edman 209's got Beavis and Butthead in there doing some head banging. It's always nice to see. Booyah. Booyah. And I think, I think. Is that it? That is it for the Super Chats. We're all caught up. I think we're all caught up. Now, tomorrow is going to be a a special stream in the afternoon. We're bringing a buddy of yours on. To yeah, well, tell he's, everybody he's about an that. associate of mine, and associate. he's a professional drone operator. Let me check and see if he texted me back. Uh, while you're doing that, I'm actually going to read this here from Dinoside 13 again. White pill. Waukesha attack victim is getting better. 11-year-old Jessalyn lost a kidney, broken pelvis in three places, skull fractures, and more. She is now conscious and off a ventilator, breathing on her own. Big step towards recovery. Cheers to that. Absolutely. Who the hell is this? What happened? One of the kids who got run over in Waukesha by that freaking oh animal. God. Yeah. God damn it. But, you know, when you take that kind of injury, you're, you're, you're fucked up for the rest of your yeah. life. And I love how he's like, uh, they, they, they're talking about me like I'm a monster. It's so dehumanizing. Yeah, it's because half of the lamestream media keeps insisting you're a runaway car. Yeah. That can be pretty dehumanizing. Not to mention how dehumanizing it is to all the victims. I'm just waiting for the, the police body cams to come out. <sighs> because the, if the cops are there and if a police officer actually approached the vehicle... Chances are he had a body camera. Yep. yep. It's going to come out in court. We're going to see it. All right. So did your buddy get back with you? I have not. He did not text me back. Okay. So, But uh, what is the plan, just to let everybody know, for tomorrow afternoon's stream? It's talking to your buddy or your associate. Well, you know, I'm trying to get him on here to get him on around noon. I'd like them to call in around 1145 so we can go through all of the links he sent us. Oh, I know, but we're going to let them know what we're going to be talking about. Well, we're going to be talking about drones. This guy's a professional drone operator who's done used the drones overseas. Yeah, and and you've been doing lair videos for months talking about Because it's fucking it. dangerous. It's scary. The hell yeah, it is. <laughs> fucking insane. Yep, and he brought a lot of receipts. Yes, he did. In advance. And he's a good dude, too. Yeah, he's a good dude. All right. So tomorrow we're going to learn about... Uh, Hopefully, uh, hopefully he responds. Consumer and prosumer drone warfare. It wouldn't be the first time we had a guest supposed to be on who didn't who didn't call in. You know. Well, if he doesn't come on tomorrow, I do have 
a very good article that I actually kept in the in the house here because it turns out that there's another celebrity out there who doesn't like equal lefts. Oh yeah? Oh yeah, Faith Evans turns out that she doesn't want to pay child support. Wee. Too bad. <laughs> Oh, uh, I, I always get stuck. I don't think anyone should pay child support. It should be 50-50, and you're responsible for your kid when it's on your time. You're damn right. If you can't do that, you shouldn't have custody of the kid at all. Amen to that. And it's not about the best interests of the child. Don't ever let them convince you of that, because if it was, the child would be put into the custody of the parent who can support that child on their own. Correct. It would not be a game of milking the system for embezzlement funds out of Social Security. And, well, there's a whole, Fuck em. There's a whole bunch. That's a whole, like, if you watch Divorce Corp, they go into detail about all that shit. Oh, that's one hell of a documentary. Dude, I was Ooh. so, I had to watch it in increments. I was getting so pissed off. No, oh, I don't, I don't doubt it. Ugh. I'm going to need some new butts for tomorrow just to get done with Keith Peterson here. Ugh. There we go. All right. I saw this one yesterday, which means we've officially cycled through all of them. Yep. You gotta find more butts. Gotta find more butts. Send us some butts. All right, CNN sucks. Juicy is so desperate, he's taking everyone down with him. Do you think he will get any time? In a just world? In a just world, he'll do three to five. Chances are he'll get 18 months. And then he'll get let out on good behavior. And time served or some shit. Yeah, I mean, he's not going to want to leave prison, though. I'm just saying. To him, it's going to be a ticker tape parade. In your opinion. <laughs> I'm just saying. I don't know, man. Uh, Likes dropping the soap. Well, I mean, he, <laughs> it's his business. Yes. And with that being said, Space Ghost is on. We'll see you guys tomorrow at 12 p.m. Eastern. Hopefully, we'll have the drone operator on with us. Safety briefing pop. All right, everybody, don't drink and drive, don't drink and swim. If you have to fight, don't go to the ground because that's where you get stomped out. If you have to use a weapon in self-defense, shoot to kill, not to wound, because that always generates a lot of problems and paperwork. If you're going to bang, wear a condom, take it with you, or flush it down the toilet and watch it go, because sperm jacking is a real thing, and the courts don't care. Yes, it is. And because people noticed that tonight your squirrel bladder actually held up for a change, it's been a while since we've seen it. So I guess it's before we leave tonight, instead of a closing rant, Fat Punisher. And now performing another classical work, The Great Wackerotti. Oh, oh God, this is making me burp like a mother. Shit is hilarious and never gets old. Never gets old, man. Thank y'all for tuning in tonight. We will see you tomorrow afternoon. Same bat time, same bat channel.